Okay, good morning once again. Today we're going to uh, continue our discussion on the use of R and R Markdown because this is the tool that we're going to use for this subject. In this subject, you'll, you will have case studies. So depending on the topic, for example, there will be a case study on multiple regression. There will be a case study on mediation, moderation. Uh, but the final output will be a uh, uh, research paper. Okay, If you're marketing, focus on a marketing topic. If you are finance, focus on a finance topic. <clears throat> okay. Uh, by way of review, we said that in an R markdown, you have this what we call the uh, the YAML. Okay. Yet another markup language is supposed to uh, give uh, printing instructions. For example, the output here is an HTML document. Table of contents is equal to true, so that when you knit or render this file. Uh, the uh, table of contents will appear. Okay, it will be part of the output. So our markdown really makes publishing or pop printing a document very very easy, as compared to going using a Word file. You type your text in the Word file, and then you use another software in order to run the data, come up with descriptive statistics, and then you copy paste uh, the uh, result in the Word file. Here, it's all in one. <clears throat> you run descriptive statistics here in R. You, you formulate your text here in R. You create your bibliography here in R. Everything is, uh, is, uh, uh, is ready, okay? So we said last time that, uh, before I forget, by the way, uh, we're, you're required not actually to use an R markdown, but rather, a quarto document, okay? <clears throat> but it's so easy because if you, you're doing it in R markdown, <laughs> you can save the document as a QMD quarto, okay? And the quarto document is a lot more powerful than R markdown. It's a lot easier, but of course, there's a learning curve. So I strongly urge you to watch videos on how to generate quarto documents, okay? Because uh, that's the requirement for this course. And you'll be glad you'll be glad that you uh, you uh, learned <clears throat> this <clears throat> this uh, tool okay i'm happy to journey with you in this uh, this uh, learning process okay all right so uh, the document that i shared with you we will learn some of the uh, most important functionalities in r so r markdown combines markdown the markdown uh, processing is uh, the markdown um, package allows us to write a text in R, okay? And it also allows us to embed code chunks. So you have text and codes so that you can perform, as I mentioned a while ago, statistical analysis, regression analysis, whatever, test, p-test, chi-square test, etc. Okay, this makes analysis reports highly reproducible. <clears throat> So this is the good thing with uh, with this document. You can share this to anybody, okay? And if they if you give them the file, the uh, let's say the data, they can run the code, okay? And they can themselves produce the same output. Unlike if you are doing this in Word, where you just have a stale, uh, the stale output. For example, the descriptive statistics, you can just read it, but you can never never run that descriptive statistics in a uh, in uh, in in Word, <clears throat> okay. So what happens is that you put the code here in the R markdown in an RMD document. <clears throat> so what I gave you is an RMD document, okay. So you can see here the file that I shared with you is an RMD file, okay. So that's a uh, COB five one six five one seven and February four data and data structures that RMD. <clears throat> so this is an RMD file. Uh, as against uh, what we discussed last time, an R file. So you can generate here. I click this, R script. Okay. And if I save this, this will just be an dot .R. Okay. And we're not going to use an R script because uh, it's less powerful. And uh, when you print your codes here, it, the output will not be reflected here. It will be reflected on the console. And we don't want that. What we want is an R markdown where we can have the codes here in a code chunk 
and then the output can be uh, can be placed here. Okay, so what happens is that when you generate this R markdown, it will be processed by a package called NITR, and then the file will be knitted or I mean rendered by Pandoc, which is another package. And then finally, it will be printed either as an HTML document or a PDF document or a Word document. Okay. All right. So that's what really happens. And now there are other packages where you can, <clears throat> for example, book down. You can already write a book using this one. Okay. So I have seen so many books, books already being written in an R markdown environment, which, uh, as I said, which we discussed last time, has evolved into a QMD file, a Quarto, Quarto Markdown. Okay, and uh, we said that our, our studio has already been renamed into POSIT. Okay, for today, we're going to, to learn data, data classes and data structures. That's very important. It's important for us to understand how R deals with data. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look into are data classes, and then we move from data classes into uh, data structures. Okay. When we talk about data, data types in R, we refer to the simplest data objects that we can handle. And this is called atomic data types. Why is, why is it called atomic? Okay, the term atomic means it can handle only one type. So if it's a numeric data, then it will just handle numeric data. You cannot, <clears throat> you cannot uh, include <clears throat> other types of data. Okay, so let's take a look at the different data classes in R. First, you have numeric. So when you see, okay, uh, if you recall, do you recall what's the shortcut to create a code chunk? Have we discussed that? Class? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Okay, sorry. Okay. Now, the difference between an R script, <clears throat> uh, a while ago in open an R script, right? Uh, where's my R script? Here. The difference between an R script and an R markdown uh, is uh, many. No? For example, I'll just type here a code 3 plus, 3 plus 2, control enter. The output, the result, is generated here in the console. Okay. So if I get the, uh, let's say, log of 100, which is uh, 4. 0.6057, which uh, maybe it, uh, you're, maybe you're confused. Why is it 4.6? Isn't, isn't log 102? Okay, uh, it's a little math explanation. If we want log to the base 10, then you use log log 10. You put the base here. Okay, you should generate two. Okay, because we know in your early, earlier arithmetic that when you, when you get the log, you're actually doing a what number when you raise it uh, to the power, uh, when you raise 10 to its power will give us 100. So that's two. In R, when you use log, the assumption is that the base is E, the exponential number. Okay, anyway, just, just, just an aside. So you can see here that the codes in R script is written in your R, in your R source or R script. And the results are Found here. Okay, I think we also did plot cars last time. Cars is a data set that comes preloaded with R, so you can access that easily. So let's run that plot cars. Then you can see here in the plots package, the plots. Okay, let's run it because it says here that there was not enough margin here. Figure margins too large, so let me. Uh, what's good thing about the R markdown is that the uh, window panes are flexible. So plot cars, right. Okay, any of the output here in the code that we write here will be generated in the console and in the plots uh, here in the other window panes, okay? However, in an R markdown file, which is the one that I gave you, you write, you can write codes here. Okay, for example, let me go back, four plus five. Okay, you can run, run the code there and then it will generate the result here also. So this is also a script window. However, you can put what we call a code chunk. 
Okay, so what, how does a code chunk look like? So if you can see here, okay, uh, let's go back here. I think we discussed this last last time. Did did I discuss this with you last time? Feedback, please, class. This one, this particular, when you open an R markdown file, you will have this as a default. Did I? Yes, sir. Okay. So remember, class, that uh, that let me show you again how to generate an R markdown file. So you go here. You can see here the icon with the plus. That means add or open, open a new. Now you can see a quarter document, a quarter presentation. So you can create a, a, like a PowerPoint presentation here and with the codes there. So this makes it really powerful tool. Uh, and then here is an R markdown. If I open this, the default is that it will uh, ask for the title and I say trial, trial one, and then the name and then the date, and then it will, uh, Give you a choice whether you're opening a document, presentation, a website, application, shiny, and from a template. Okay, so let's let me just choose the default document and HTML, which is the default. Okay, and then it will open a new uh, RMD file. This one. Okay, and the first thing that you see here is the YAML. Okay, this is the default, and it will tell you the date now and then the output that you. You chose when you were opening this RMD file. <clears throat> and then this gives us, okay, this is what we call a code chunk. So the advantage of an R markdown file is that you can generate a code chunk. And whenever you generate a code chunk, the output can also be produced in your, in your source window. Now that's very important because when we print, when we print the uh, RMD file, the output of the code will be here in the source window. Unlike an R, R file, R script file, the output can never be here. So you cannot marry the uh, code and the results unless, unless you copy this, for example. Unless you copy this, 4 plus 5, control C. I'm sorry, uh, this one. Log. Control C, log of 100, you can insert that, right? And this is the result. So it's cumbersome, it's time consuming. Okay, so I hope I've uh, I've uh, marketed to enough the, the uh, and in convince you that the way to go really is to do this R markdown. <clears throat> okay, there's a chat here. Walang lumalabas na print sa console. Okay, let's see, yeah. Okay, Sam, uh, thank you, thank you, class, for these questions. I'm going to, okay, let's, I'll make sure that, wait, not the share. <clears throat> okay, where is that? Uh, Um, how do I make everyone? Sorry. How do I make everyone? Uh, how do I allow you to share? Okay, let me pause first. The some I'll stop share and then kindly share your screen, please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Let's uh, let's see the question of Sam. Ito, sir, ayaw po mag-print. Ay, ito ba? Sorry. Okay, so... Uh, Ay, nawala. Nasa R ka? Ito, sir. Yan, okay. <clears throat> flat cars ayo siya magprint how about yung yung ano yung yung ibang codes mo yung log 10 nag ano ba siya ayo din po hmm surprise sa akin din po sir same problem po sa kanya ha ganun sige nga ulit mga iran mga ulit yung ano log 10 san si yan control enter mo control enter control enter 
Control enter mo yan. Yung Ay. Ayan, no? But black curse lang mo ba sir? The I wait. Punta ka sa log 10, control enter ah. Ayun. Yeah. Oh, ba, ah, enter lang siguro yung nag open Ah, okay. Command Dapat control enter. Pala, sir, oh, command enter sa ano sa Mac, no? Okay, okay. Got it, sir. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those questions, ha. I, I really appreciate those. Sino pa yung isa nagtanong? Sir, ako po. Ano Ganun. po, sir? Share ko lang din po yung screen. Sige, po, Alvin, kasi, please. Ano. Sige, please. Thank you. Sa akin po, plot curse po. Tama okay. po. Tapos, control enter po. Oo. Ah, eto po siya. Ayan, no? Kasi Oo. kanina po nag-enter lang, enter lang po yung kinilig po. Oo. Kaya, ano. <laughs> yeah, also, ang suggestion po, yung console mo, ilagay mo sa upper right, no? Upper right po, paano po, sir? Mo, sige, go to, sa taas, yung sa tabs, go to tools. Tabs. Wait, sa taas, tools po. Sa taas. Sa taas. Ayan po. Upper right. Ayan, tools, tools. Ayan, Ayan po. Oh, then, do, go down, global go down. options. Sa baba. Global. Sa baba. Ay, Pinapa. ito, global Ayan. options. Global options. And then, punta ka sa pain layout. Sa, up, sa left, di ba? Left po, left po, wait lang. Left. Ayan, pain layout dyan. Sige, taas pa ng konti. Ayan, pain Ayan. layout. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay. So, yan ang layout mo ngayon, no? Yung console mo nasa ibaba ng source. Apo. So, you go to the environment pane, environment. I-click mo yung, yung uh, ano dyan, drop down. Dito pa sa environment? Yan. Sige, punta ka sa kanan yan. Kanan. Kanan, kanan, kanan po. Go, go to the right. No, go to the right. Uh, makita mo yung click yung drop down dun. De, sa environment. Saan po? Environment. environment po. Yan. Uh, punta ka dun sa tab mismo na environment. Hindi, sa taas, taas yan. Taas yan. Taas po. Hindi. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, ah. Mabuli, ah. Mabuli siya. Baba ka ulit. Baba. Dun sa window pin mismo yan. Go up apo, apo. a bit. A little bit lang. Yung sa title. Ah. Sa title niya. Sa title. Sa taas. Taas yan. Taas, sa taas po. Taas po. Taas pa. Yan. Diba? Yan, yan, yan. Apo, apo. Diba may title apo. siya? Go apo. to the right. Go to the right. Oh, yan. Apo. Yan. Console. Yan. See, console. You... Ah. Yan. So, andun na yung console sa ano. So, i-okay mo na. Okay. Apply okay po. Thank you, sir. Ayan, andyan na. You. Okay? Good, good, good. Sige good lang. Po. Okay, keep the questions coming, ha? Uh, please, yes, sige, please do not pretend that you're able to follow, ha? Yes, Guys. Po. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Alvin. Sir. Thank you, Sam. Very good, very good. I appreciate the... Uh... Sige, magsishare ulit na, na ulit ako ng screen, ha? Share screen ulit ako. Okay. All right. So, good. Okay, so as we said, class... When we open, nasa yung R script kasi, pag gamitin natin yan, ito, yung output hindi lalabas dito sa source window. O ito, paano mo ilalagay ito sa ano? I don't think you can copy this. Okay, let me see. Copy image. Hindi mo siya pwedeng ma-i-ano dito. Control V. Hindi. May limitation dito. You cannot paste a, a uh, an image here, a plot. O so, paano na yun, di ba? Kasi kung ito ipiprint mo, yung output na to wala. Talagang limited ka. At saka it will be really cumbersome kasi you'll keep on copy pasting. So enter an R markdown. So dito kasi sa R markdown, eh, di ba? If you, if, you, if you put a code outside a code chunk, okay, ito. So dito ako maglalagay. Ah. Anyway, example lang naman itong R markdown na to Dito, okay? If I run that plot, plot cars, Magra-run siya. No? Magra-run siya. I-run ko. Okay. Ano nangyari? Uh, this is... Saan ba yun? This one, plot cards. No? Control, enter. Alright. Nag-run siya. Ito na yun, no? Ito yun. Naulit lang siya. Okay. Just to be sure, i-clear ko siya ito. Sa plots, itangin itong broom na to, i-clear ko siya. Okay. Clear ko siya. Tapos i-run ko ulit to just to show that nag-run nga siya. Ayan, nag-run siya, di ba? Yung plot that cars. Okay? However, if I put this in a code chunk, makikita niyo yung difference. Huh? Okay, what's the shortcut to create a code chunk? Ang shortcut niyan is sa, sa Windows, Control plus uh, Control Alt plus I. Kasi matagal kung ganito gagawin natin, no? Back ticks, tapos curly brackets, tapos R, tapos uh, back ticks ulit. This is a code chunk. And 
as I said, the advantage of using an R markdown file is you can you can um, make a code chunk and then put codes there, and then the code will be, will uh, be printed in the source window. Dito mismo print. So pag nakaprint dito, di ba pwede na natin i-publish to, pwede natin i-print to with the results already here. Yan ang tawag dito, markdown. No? Markdown. Alright. So, let me illustrate that. Plot cars. Okay, so I'm putting it in the in the code chunk and then I'm going to run this. How do you run a code in a code chunk? Ganun din, pwede control enter. You go to a specific line. Kasi kung marami kang codes dyan sa code chunk na yan, pwede line by line mo siya i-run. Or you can run everything the same time. Click mo lang to. Run current chunk. Or you can also use this. Run. Okay? So there are different ways to run a particular code. So ito i-run natin. I'm just going to use control enter. Okay? So there you go. Tingnan nyo, class. And dito yung output. Diba? So you can now print this. Okay? You can now print this. I And I think I showed this to you, diba? Last time. So i-run natin. Summary cars. Yan. And dito yung output niya. And then we can knit this. Knit natin to. Mag-generate to, mag to na isang HTML document. I knit this. Knit, knit to HTML. Okay, it will ask me to save the document. Okay, saan ko isa save? Ano na lang. Uh, trial 100. Whatever. No? Saan ba ito sa G? Okay. Alright. Tapos, pagka knit niya, ito, makikita natin nag-knit siya. Ninit sa knit R package and then i-convert yan to into HTML using the pandoc. <clears throat> yan. Pandoc uh, package and then ito na. Ito na. Yan. Right? We have already created the output. Diba? Uh, this is a lot easier than uh, having your, your, let's say, your research in word file tapos magka-copy copy paste ka pa etc ito andito na yung ano eh andito yung formatting tool niya eh di ba saka automatic yes. din pwede na. yes sorry to bother sir yeah, sure. um when you use mark, our markdown sir is that the same as kasi i'm using mac os and uh, the shortcut kasi i don't think i i can see alt button sir ah okay sorry sorry sa ah good thank you for asking that question Sa ano That's naman, sa, ano, sa Mac pala, it's uh, command, command, and then I think it's options, candy check, no? and then plus I. Sorry, I was about to say that. Uh, sa, ano, sa Mac, command, options, I. Sabay-sabay. Can you please check? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank yes, sir. you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so you have to remind me that, and those of you who are Mac users, also please help me because I'm not using a Mac. So there are there are many no functionalities in Mac that I'm uh, I don't know really kasi hindi uh, na gumagana yung Mac ano ko <laughs> yung computer ko na Mac and I, I'm not using a Mac notebook I'm using a Windows notebook so let's just help each other no? okay thank you thank you for that question uh, sino nagtanong Robbie sir a uh, Robbie okay Robbie thank you Robbie thank you sir okay all right so let's go to the file that I that I uh, <clears throat> uh, shared with you, okay. So uh, this is an uh, this is a code chunk. Okay, let me just make sure that you got the name right. Code chunk, no code chunk. And if you are using Windows, the uh, the uh, shortcut is Control Alt I. If you are using Mac, it's Command Options I. All right, and uh, it's best to give a name to your code chunk. If you have several code chunks already, and you you want to look for a particular uh, code chunk, it might be very difficult for you to find that code chunk unless you give it a name. So this one, we have the curly brackets R, and then this is the name. Okay, this is the name of this code chunk. If you go to the other code chunks here. Okay, ito walang ano, no? walang name. So, this is not good practice. 
I should have I should have done I should have uh, uh, included the name to this code chunks. Because if I look for if I'm looking for a particular code chunk, diba? Ilang code chunks are under dito? And and they're all generic. Tanyo generic. Uh, chunk five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Angang chunk. So there are fifty three code chunks here in this in this file. So I have no idea what what's inside chunk number fifty. Okay, if I'm going to look for a particular code chunk, it would have been best had I written a an index for that or a name for that. And just you do it just by this one, for example, objects or R objects, R objects. Okay. That would be the name for this. So if I look at the index here, and I, if I'm looking for that, it's actually code chunk three. So I can easily go to that particular code chunk. Or uh, the indexing is helpful because if I want this particular code chunk number 10, if I gave it a name, and then I can just click there, and then it's this one. Okay. I can write here integer uh, vectors. Okay, so it's a good practice. Okay, so that uh, later on, if you are you're working on a particular project, particular research, and you're using this, it will really uh, facilitate the. Uh, uh, it will help you a lot in uh, looking for a particular code chunk. Okay, so we'll we'll get to learn more about. Okay, as anyway, we're here. Okay, data classes. Okay, so let's start. Data classes. So these are the different types of uh, di different data classes. You have numeric, you have integer, character, logical, complex, row. You have other types like date, which we're going to look uh, at uh, later. Um, maybe not later, but yeah, there we have examples of date, but we might not get there. And so I'm going to post a video on that. All right, so let's start with numeric. So for this one, the hashtag, the pound sign, uh, means that whatever is written written here here after the pound sign is to be treated as a comment, and it's not to be, it's not processed. Okay. So a numeric a numeric uh, data. Okay, let me write uh, twelve one two three point four. Okay. So this is numeric. When you say numeric in R, it may or may not have a decimal place. Okay, let me see. Uh, let's say 34 or um, 56. Okay, here I'm writing two numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 56. So if I if we run this, control enter. Okay, so you can see here that it printed the object 1, 2, 3, 4, and 56. Okay, now we can ask R if these values here are numeric or not. So how do we ask R if uh, the type of data uh, one two three point four is? We can we can use the is that numeric. Okay. Is that numeric and then one two three point four. So we're asking R is this number numeric? Okay. Uh, so I'm right just writing it here in the console. I don't want to write it here in the uh, source. Okay, control enter. All right, true. Okay, so it tells us that indeed this is numeric. About 56, is that numeric? 56 is uh, the number 56 that we wrote here. Is it considered numeric in R? Okay, there you go, it's true. So these are numeric uh, values. Now distinguish that from, <clears throat> from integers. Now in R, to write an integer, you have to, let's say, 987. You have to use the letter L here. 987L. Okay, so 987L, if we print this control enter, okay, it says here 987. Okay, of course, it does not include L, but if we check, is that numeric? 987L. So is 987L numeric? Let's see. Okay, it's true. No? It's true because an integer is also numeric. However, there's a another test for that. Is that integer 987L? Okay. Is 
is 987L an integer? So let's run that. It's true. However, a while ago is integer. Let us check is integer. Let's check the 123.4. 123.4. Is this an integer? Okay, it's false. All right. So in R, an integer can be uh, a numeric can be a number that take, can take may, may take on a decimal place and a number that cannot take on a decimal place, which is an integer. 56, although it does not uh, contain a decimal, it is still considered numeric. Okay, Let's check. Is that integer? If it does not have a decimal place, uh, does it mean that it's already an integer? No. Let's check. Is that integer? Okay, it's false. So 56, although it does not contain decimals, is still an integer. The only way a particular object in R will be an integer is you put an L to it. Okay? So there are only very few instances when we're going to use uh, integers in R. So mostly when we're dealing with, with the values, uh, it will be mostly numeric. Okay? Any questions so far, class? Yes, sir. I have questions. Yeah, po. sure. Uh, okay, go ahead. Can we write, uh, according to my understanding, diba, yung integers is composed of negative numbers po. Yeah. So, uh, when we have negative numbers, so it is, is it the best to use the integer po? Okay. Uh, let's let's recall. Uh, ang integers, yeah, whole number siya, no? Tapos, it, it may consist of negative. So, let's see. Tignan natin, ha? Negative yes, 875L. Okay. So, it's negative 875, no? Let's check is if that's an integer. Negative 875L. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's true. So, yeah, from our algebra, we know that integers consist of zero and all the positive whole numbers and all also the negative whole numbers. Did that Thanks, answer sir. your question? Yeah, okay. Yes, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. But this is also numeric, di ba? Is that numeric? Kasi parang si numeric, higher, ano siya, or higher order ng classification. So negative 900L, that's also numeric. However, aside from being numeric, it's also an integer. Okay? I, I see. Thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. Ang mga ano naman, yung numeric, uh, they're not they're not integers, no? So for example, diba 9 negative 987. Let's check. Is that integer? Okay. By the way, when you're typing a code, for example, is that integer uh I N T, you don't actually need to type everything. Once you see this, you notice that there's an intelligence here, no? So now R is able to predict uh in its library are different functions. And lalabas yung is that integer, you can just press tab para i-complete na niya. Is that integer negative negative 987.5? Okay? And we know that this will not be an integer. It's numeric, pero hindi siya integer. And that's false. Okay? So thank you for those questions. Let's keep them coming. Okay, thank you. All right. We know character. Ang characters are Okay, Nare A, B, C, D. Let's type A, B, C, D and then print that. Now, you notice that object A, B, C, D not found. Okay, why? Because this does not consist of a data in R. Okay, let's, kung A lang, Nare A, enter, wala rin, no? Kasi, ang character sa R should be, okay, should be uh, denoted by either a single quote or a uh, single character or in nothing kung dalawa pa So let's, let's see this. No? Single quote A, double quote B. Okay, enter. All right, there. We were able to create this object A and B. No? So let's check. Is that character? Pwede natin i-check kung character siya. No? Si A. Character by si A with the quotes, and you'll get true. Alright? So, kapag may, ano, kapag may quotes, ano yan? 
character yan. Okay, so it can be a single character or a character can also be a yari, uh, hello uh, COB516 and 517N. All right. Here you have this uh, uh, several uh, characters here. Okay. So which you call a string. No? String to. Control enter. There. <clears throat> and if I copy this, is that character. Let me copy this. Control C. And if I type, is that character? Okay. Control V, copy ko siya. Of course, we know that this should be a true answer kasi character siya. Pero kung is that numeric, hindi pa pwede. Of course, we expect this to be false. Kasi hindi naman numeric kung hello, COB506 and 597. Okay, so, so meron tayong character na single character lang. Meron tayong character na string. No? Pag string, maraming laman siya. Okay, uh, clear so far, class? Uh, pa yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Feedback naman kung okay so far. And uh, I appreciate you asking questions, which is very good. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. So let's now go to logical. Si logical, tignan natin ha. Ah, Di ba alam natin si logical true or false siya? Eh? Let's write true here. Okay. Okay, true. Sige, isaman natin si false. Okay. So logical ba to? Let's let's uh, print this. All right. Lumabas nga si true and false, pero let's try to see if is that uh, logical. Logical ba si true? Check natin, no? Okay, it's false. Hindi siya hindi siya logical value. Okay, bakit? Kasi very special character da, din ang logical sa R. No? Ang, ang uh, logical value sa R is true or false. Yan. True or false, pero walang quotes. No? Notice na nag-red nag, nag siya. No? Kasi special character yan. So when you type true or and false, enter natin. Alright, lumabas dito true and false. Notice wala siyang quotes. And then let's check. Okay. Okay. By the way, if you want to access the uh, the previous codes here, dito sa console, pwede kayo mag arrow up, arrow down, no? para hindi nyo susulatin ulit, no? Inarian. Ayan. I need this is logical. And then tatanggalin ko tong codes dito. Ayan. Is lo is that logical true? All right. True siya, no? Balik natin. Gawin kong false naman to. Okay. What about false na small letter? Okay, error siya, no? Error. So, ang logical sa R is only true or false. Walang quotes, tapos all capitals. How about this? Is that logical? Capital T. Pwede ba yan? Singa. Is that also illogical uh, data, please? No and po. Yung letter T? Yes po. Uh, no po, no. Not logical po. Ha? True, sir. Yes, sir. Po. Ha? True, sir. True, oo, oh, oh, true. Uh, Alvin, ikaw ba yan? Uh, yeah po. Ako po sumagot po ng hindi. <laughs> hindi ko po kasi natatry. Eh. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that feedback. O, ano yan ha? Logical din yan yung T. No? So either capital T or full word, full word true or capital F or full word false. No? Pero it's for us, it's advisable to use the full word true or false. No? Kasi uh, minsan, yung T kasi pwede mong gamitin uh, to name an object which we're going to discuss in a while. No? Kasi you can name an object with a certain... Uh, names. So yung T pwede natin magamit yan as a name. Si F din pwede. But not true or false. Ito talagang special character yan. 
hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yan sa sa pangalan. Okay, thank you for your replies. Thank you. All right. So true siya, no? So this is logical. Okay? Sama ko na din. Is that logical? Si F. Okay? Sama na rin natin isa pa. Is that logical? Si small f. Okay, run natin to. Okay. Tingnan niyo ha. Yung unang function is that logical t uh, true. Si letter f din true. Pero nang is that logical f wala na no. Error na siya. Hindi niya na intindihan tong kung ano tong f na to. Okay? All right. So that's for logical. And as I said, it's best to use the word true or false. Okay, next, let's go to complex number. Uh, if you recall from your elementary math, complex number consists of both a real number and a uh, imaginary number. So let's say 3 minus 5i. Yan. Complex number yan. So, ah, ma-accommodate din ni, ano yan, ni, especially for math, no? Siyempre, kailangan, kailangan nila yung mga ganyan, ano, characters. So let's print this. So you have now 3 minus 5i. Let's see, is this, is that numeric? Numeric pa rin to. Tingnan natin ha. 3 minus 5i. Uh, if you recall, i is your imaginary number. Square root of negative 1. Yan, di ba? Okay. So false. Hindi siya numeric. No? Is that, uh, is that um, complex? Is that complex? 3 minus 5i. Okay. And we expect, I'm oh, sorry. We expect this to be true. Yan. True siya. Okay. All right. Next, any questions so far about numeric, integer, character? So, yung pinaka basic, no? And and these are what we call atomic, no? Atomic siya. Uh, kasi okay. Okay, tapusin muna natin tong row and then magbibigay ako kung bakit siya tinatawag na atomic, no? Okay, row. Ano naman row? Ito yung uh, parang sa computer na to eh, no? sa computer language bytes na to no? so for example uh, we can use in order to convert a an object uh, to a raw data ito nare ito character to raw so let's let me copy this control c and then i'm going to use this function <clears throat> okay i'm going to use this function uh, Character to <coughs> row. Okay, take a look at the... No, ayan, no? Nung inano ko yung car, yan, lumabas na siya. And it's from the base R. So, tab. And then, control V. Kinapi ko yung hello world. Yan. Okay. If I run this, character to row. There. Okay, nakita nyo to, no? Okay, what's this? Okay, ito yung raw data nitong hello COB5165127M. Okay, for example, so yung H48 pa lang ang equivalent niya sa, sa raw data in terms of R. I'm not sure if in other languages ganun din. So apparently, yung mga letters na to may corresponding numbers yan. So itong, for example, yung L. 6C, 6C. Tama, no? dalawa. No? Yung... Ah, uh, ano pa ba yung ano pa ba bang pareho? Uh, itong O dito, capital <coughs> itong O. <coughs> okay, 6C, 6C. Tapos ang O, 6F. Pero ang big O, <coughs> big C, <coughs> ang big O pala, 43. Okay, even small letters and capital letters have no have a, have their corresponding <coughs> equivalent, no? Equivalence. Okay? Alright. So, uh, on the other hand naman, if I, let's say, if I type row and row 2, ayan, row 2 character, meron nga row 2 bits, no? Okay, row 2 character, and then let me copy this. Ito naman, itong row na to, <clears throat> control C, <laughs> control B. Okay, let's see. Kung, pe, kung pwede siyang may ano, no, may uh, ano error dito. Should there be a, nakalimutan ko kung dapat may quotes to. 
Let, let's check DA. Uh, okay, let's see. Control enter. Error. <clears throat> okay, may, may mali ako dito class, no? Uh, kasi, <clears throat> we know that this uh, <clears throat> Okay. How do I convert this? <clears throat> but we should be able to convert this row number to uh, Let me see. Wait na ako, ah. C. Okay, and then close. Hindi pa rin, no? Okay, mamaya during the break, <clears throat> mag break ta, I'll try to see. Because we should be able to convert this, yung, kara, yung row, kara, row ba, ano natin, into a character. <clears throat> Kasi parang pareho lang yan. Okay, so let's leave that for a while. <clears throat> I cannot, uh, I cannot recall kung paano yung ano, kung paano mag-convert siya sa ano. <clears throat> anyway, we'll not be dealing with row, <clears throat> row, uh, uh, row data. No? It's more of the, uh, Computer data yan. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Then there are other cla data classes in R, uh, like date. No, uh, we're going to have examples of this uh, later on. Okay. So let me just illustrate here. Yung sinasabi kong atomic. Let's create and let's create a uh, a code chunk here. Okay. Atomic. No? Atomic data. <clears throat> All right. So let's have an object. Okay. Let's say if you if we want to have uh, several objects, no, we're going to use. Kunyari numbers na lang, one up to ten. <clears throat> okay, diba? one up to ten. So if we run this, it will print in one up to ten. So let's check if this is is that numeric. One up to ten. Okay, true. Numeric sha. No? Now if if uh, I want, for example, uh, not not a series, binary C, uh, two, and then ten, and then twenty-three, forty-five, etc. <clears throat> so I I'm creating this object. Uh, 2, 10, 2, 10, 23, 45. Okay, enter natin. Nalabas siya dito, no? But what if, copy this, let me insert a letter. Okay? So I'm inserting here a letter. 2, 10, B, at saka gawin natin tong logical, true. Okay, so what will happen here? Sige nga, class, pakiran, yung 2, 10, and then B, and then 2. What happened? Any feedback, please? Nag-print lang siya, sir. Nag-print? What do you mean nag-print? In 2, 10. Okay, nga natin. Nag-print okay. lang po. Nag-print, pero may, bin, may ginawa siya, di ba? Anong ginawa niya? You notice, nung print niya, what happened? Something happened to our data. Naka double quotes. Yes, so that means ano na siya? Parang wala pong error, sir. Character Walang na, error, sir. pero what happened to Char this? Character na siya, sir. Yes, yes. character na siya, di ba? Eh ang ang rewrite ang what we wrote is a numeric 2 10 B at saka true. No? So you notice what did R do? Hindi niya tinanggap na si 2 is numeric. It did not re uh, accept that 10 is also numeric. It did not it did not accept that true is is logical. What it did was a process called coercion. Kinoerce niya. Bakit? Kasi yung kinecreate natin dapat atomic yan. No? Dapat pare-pareho sila. Okay? Later on we'll discuss paano kung gusto kong may ano may uh, may uh, may number na 2, may character na B, may logical value na 
true, merong complex number, paano kung ganun? Okay? That will now go into the realm of data structures. No? So itong tinitingnan natin so far, this is a type of a data structure called vectors. No? So ang mga vectors, pare-pareho lang ang data types niya. Okay? okay? So you cannot create another type of data stru structure called logical unless you do something. So here we we're just combining these elements, but right? 2, 10, B, true. So this is numeric. Bigyan pa natin ng ano, bigyan pa natin ng ng uh, 5L, ng integer naman. Ganun din 'yan. Ganun din. Control enter. So, yes. Uh, sir, sorry. So the moment we do this, like we treat number 2 as a character, Every time we use two in, in the ano, sa set na to, it's going to be taken or read uh, by the system as a uh, character na. Uh, as far as this is concerned, no? Oh, okay. But there's a way actually, no? Sige, I'll go ahead of myself, no? I'll go ahead of myself and then uh, the other type of data structure, the second type that we're going to look at later is uh, is a list. So this is a vector, no? Ano yung vector? It's an atomic data set. Ibig sabihin, pare-pareho dapat sila. So if you create an object where you have a combination of numeric, character, logical, whatever data type, okay? If you try to create that kind of an object, i-coerce ni Aryan. Kasi hindi pa pwedeng ano eh, mag magkakaiba yung data unless, okay, so unless, okay, we go here and type list, C, okay, ito. Let's copy this. Control C. Control D. Okay, uh, siguro hindi naka... Yung C means combine. Tignan lang natin. Tanggalin ko muna yung C. Okay, take a look at this class. List. 210B through 5L. Tignan natin if this will work. Control Enter. Alright, tignan nyo. No? Okay. O, oh, andi dito na si 2. Numeric. Si 10, numeric. Si B, character. C true, logical, C F, integer. Alright, so we can create pala. We can create an object containing several types of uh, data types. Okay? And this is what we call a list. List yan. Pero, ngayon, ano pa lang tayo, no? mga vectors pa lang tayo. So when we try to create a vector containing several types, data types, hindi pa pwede. Okay? I-create ni Aryon, pero i-coerce niya. I-coerce niya sa pinaka... Uh, may ranking kasi yung ano, data. No? Ang pinakamababa is... Uh, ang pinakamababa is logical. Mamaya, we're going to take a look at that. Ang pinaka-highest quote-unquote rank na data type is character. Okay? Kasi all, all types of data, whether it's numeric, integer, uh, uh, logical, complex can be converted into a character. Lalagyan mo lang ng quotes yun, di ba? Makukonvert na. Pero, si character, hindi mo pwedeng gawing, not necessarily gawin mo integer yan, di ba? Kunyari, word na, hello world, or hello COB516 and 517N. How can you possibly convert that into numerical, di ba? Hindi pa pwede. So, the highest rank is, uh, is a character. And then, the coercion, the conversion, is from the lower to the higher. But sometimes, pag, uh, pag convertible, pag conformable, pwede ka rin mag-convert from the higher to a lower. But we'll discuss that later. Okay, so far, so far class, are we clear on this? Uh, good thing you're asking questions kasi uh, it becomes part of our discussion already. So anong klaseng ano to? object to? This is a combination of numerical. Okay, pwede rin, uh, let's say, C ng Okay, C ng, okay, true, so we have a combination ng uh, false, and then T, T, F, F, pwede ito, no? Kasi same data type sila lahat, no? Lahat logical, so if I print this, there, okay, true, false, true, etc. Okay. Alright, so let's move on to assigning names to objects. So far, yung kini-create natin na object, piniprint lang natin directly. Okay? Now, what we can do is create 
Okay? And then, tingnan nyo dito, ah. Okay, kita pa lang natin dito. Do you see this? Yung row variable na to? Ah. Dapat wala pa to. Uh, do you have this class? You have that? Mark, mamaya na lang, ah. You have this class? You have this? Wala. Okay, sige. Didelete ko na muna to, ah. I'm going to teach you how to create objects in R. All right. So, our first task is to assign value 1 to, okay, nakulangan tayo dito ng, tanggalin lang lang na ganito, to A. Alright, so how do we assign, assign 1 to object A? So, in R, you can create objects using this one, A, okay, let me use small A, is equal to 1. Okay, take a look at that. A is equal to 1. So, I'm creating this object A and then assigning value 1 to it. Can we run this? Control enter. When we run that, notice what happens to your environment. Okay, it created this object called A and then the value of this A is 1. So, any object that you create in R, whether it's a numerical vector, it's a list, it's a data frame, etc., they will all be reflected here. Okay? Lahat yan reflect dito. Okay, now, it's not advisable to use the equality sign when you're creating object. So, it's better to use, okay, this one. So let me, uh, okay, by the way, okay, dito na muna tayo, no? You notice when I, when we generated A is equal to 1, okay, hindi siya nag-print. Iba? Dito lang nag-reflect nag dito sa environment window that there's this object called A with a value 1. Pero it did not print in the console. It did not print in the source window. So how do you print A? So two ways. Either print print A okay, or just type A. Yan. Print A or type A. So let's run this. Kaya dalawang, dalawang beses inuno si 1. No? Kasi si print A, ang value na A is 1. And then also A here, ang value na A is 1. Okay? Alright. Or, another way to do it is, okay, let me, once again, okay, let me type that. Okay, by the way. So, the best way is not A is equal to 1. Kasi, minsan gagamitin natin yung equality sa equation. No? So, it's best to do this. Yan. So, this is what we call the comment that assignment operator. Okay? So, this one, yung less than and then dash. That's what we call an assignment operator. Okay? Uh, let's just K1, para inulit ko lang. No? And then, if I run this, control enter, there. No? Uh, sa console, linagay niya yung rinan natin. No? And then dito, andun pa rin, A is equal to 1. So, uh, yung pa rin yung value ni, ano, ni A. So, of course, I can choose another object. No? But what I want here is that we can print this. No? So how do we print A? Either print A or write A or put quotations before and after your code, your assignment. Okay, could you kindly try that, class? Run that. You might open and close parentheses. What happened? Nag-equals to Nag, 1. Nag-print siya, di ba? Nag-print siya. Control, yes. enter. There, nag-print siya dito. Okay? So, several ways to print an object. Either yung function na print A, o kaya write A, o kaya yung code mismo, lagyan nyo ng open and close parentheses. Okay. So, that's an assignment operator. And by the way, the shortcut is, kasi mahaba yung ano, di ba? Pag-shift ka pa, tapos less than, tapos ano. 
Okay, so, okay, so let me write, for example, A again, A, and then, okay. Notice, ang shortcut niyan is alt minus. Sa Mac, uh, tingnan nyo nga, may alt, alam ko may alt yata sa ano, no? or function. Could you try, try to see a function minus or command minus? Uh, so, yan ang shortcut ni, ano, ni assignment operator. Alt. Sa Mac, could somebody please? Sa Mac, ano yung shortcut? Try to figure it out, Pastor. Sorry, ah. Uh, basta minus yung una, yung pangalawa. Command minus ba? Or can somebody Google what is the assignment operator in R for Mac? Sir, uh, command minus nga, sir. Command okay. minus, okay. Thank you. Let me write that. Command and then minus. Yeah. Okay. Command minus. Alt minus sa, ano, sa, sa Windows. Okay. Tanggalin ko na to. All right. So let's check the class of A. Ano ba class ni A? So the class gives us the data type. No? Class ni A, enter natin yan, A is numeric. Okay? Kasi ang alam naman ni A, si 1 numeric yan. Diba? And we can also use this function, type of, type of A, and that's also double. Okay, may distinction, no? Yung double, it means uh, it's a actually a more, sabi nating lower classification. Kasi maraming classification ng data sa, ano, sa, sa R, no? One example is mode. Let's kind of include this, no? Mode. It's also used to classify the structure of your data. Ang mode ni A is numeric. Ang class ni A is numeric. Ang type ni A is double. So yung type of it's a lower classification parang mas ano siya mas uh, uh, nasa sub classification na siya and double there means double precision okay it means that uh, it will take on more bytes more on sa sa ano to sa sa computer lingo kasi pag decimal places di ba mas mas uh, mas malaking mas malaking uh, space call it if you want no space ang kailangan kasi because of the decimal places, no? <clears throat> Imagine if you're generating a number called pi na non-repeating, non non-terminating. So, malaking space ang kailangan nun kasi it, cannot, it should accommodate, yeah. Uh, thank you, Justin. 32 and 64. Correct. All right. <clears throat> okay, so uh, any questions so far? Okay, may wrong spelling dito. All right, how about this one? Assign assign B to number 3 and then print. So yung shortcut natin, print kagad natin B, alt minus, and then <clears throat> three. close. There. Diba? So that's assigning number 3 to letter B. And then print natin using the assignment operator. Print natin. I sorry. Mali. No? Dapat L to. Okay, there should be letter L. And then if you check the, tingnan natin ha, uh, mode muna, mode ni B, semicolon, class ni B, semicolon, type of ni B. Okay. So tatlo siya, no? Mode, class, and type of. So if we run this, Control enter. 
Okay, so ang mode ni B ito yung higher classification, no? Integer, numeric siya. Okay, so kahit na integer siya, numeric, numeric din yan. Then class niya, integer. And then, a type niya, integer. <clears throat> Pag numeric, ang mode niya, numeric. Okay, why don't we have an example of that? No? So let's create this object C. Alt minus, and then let's... Uh, uh, let's uh, 2.71 2.71 let's print this and then let's copy this control C control D okay and let's run this control enter alright so it's 2.71 uh, sabay sabay natin i-print. Okay. C3, ang mode niya, di ba, numeric. Ang class niya, integer. Ang type of niya, integer. Si 2.71, just like 3, ang mode niya, numeric. Mareo sila numeric. Okay. Wait. Uh, sorry. Alimutan ko dapat C. 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 And then C. Okay, so let's run both. A lot na lang. No? Ulit. Okay. C3, numeric, yung mode, yung class niya, at type of integer. C, uh, C, numeric yung mode niya. <clears throat> ang class niya numeric pa rin, pero ang type niya, double. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yes? On my answer, iba yung lumabas, sir. Parang... Iba yung lumabas? Sige nga, tingnan natin. Stop share ako. Um, let me check. Uh, switch lang sa Wait lang po. Again. I use a different device. Uh, Robbie, share mo yung ano ba? Uh, yes, sir. Wait lang. Hi, sir. Uh, and how do I share it? Um, share it. Uh, sa more yata, tas share screen. Uh, can, you, can you see it, sir? Hmm. On my end kasi Pero iba yung lumalabas yung sa down end. Uh, ito po sir. All right. It it shows function 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 then built in. May hmm. mali pa. Okay, hindi ah. Uh, tanggalan mo nga ng space dun sa mode. Ito sir. Ah uh, dun sa uh, pati sa una sa taas. Ah, uh, okay. Tingnan na natin kasi uh, ano din eh. Uh, and then dun sa unang mode sa line 52. Line 52. Ah, uh, this one. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. Okay lang yung then, ano, may space between the, after the semicolon. Pero yung okay. mode and then, sige nga, subukan mo i-run yan. Let's see. I-run okay. mo yung buong code chunk. Uh, yung arrow sa upper right na si. Ah, sorry sir. This one? Yan, oo. Oh. Ayan, okay na. Ayun, thank you so, sir. So may ano, may, uh, uh, good, Robbie, thank you so much for asking that. So we can see here that R is very sensitive to spaces, no? Yung spacing. Kasi uh, yung function, mag-create mag din tayo ng function, kailangan may space yun. So kanina, yung sinulat ni Robbie na mode and then space and then B, R was reading that as a function. Okay? It, it was looking at that as a function. So uh, parang sinasabi ni Robbie dun kanina, yung my space after mode. I'm creating this function called B. Tapos ang laman ni B, yung nung function yun, si class at saka si type. Kaya ang sabi niya, ang sabi ni R, function yan, and then these are built-in functions. Ibig sabihin, may, may function na class at saka may function na, na, na type of. Ulitin nga natin, Rob, yun. Sige nga. So, space, put, put a space again after, yung una lang. Kahit yung una na lang. Yan. Tapos, let's run the first, first set na lang. Okay. The uh, first two lines. I-highlight mo yung 5152. 5152. Highlight mo siya. Oops, oh, hindi na siya may ano. Sige. Okay, and then control enter mo. Hmm. Alright. Hmm, Nag-okay siya dito. Ano? Okay. Uh, Baka yung binabasa niya sir yung sa baba. Hindi kaya. Oh, well. Pero 3 eh. Oo oh, nga okay. 
Pero kanina, di ba, nag-function siya? Yeah, function, function, and then built-in po. Oh. Sige nga, i-run mo nga lahat. Ito, sir. Oh. Nag-okay na siya, no? Oo oh, po, sir. Okay, so, uh, I don't know if yung sa memory niya, uh, Baka, sir, uh, consider uh, na niya to, no? Override na, sir. Siguro. Oh, no. siguro. Pwede rin yan. Pwede. Huh? Yeah. Okay, sige. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you yes, for sir, your sir. question. Okay. Let me share my screen again. Okay. So, let me just uh, close this. All right. Okay, so let's go to... Uh, so far, we have looked at the data types. No? We have integer, numeric, character, uh, pwedeng one, one letter lang. And pwedeng string din, pwedeng uh, it can be logical, it can be complex, it can be row, it can be a date. Uh, so we'll take a look at the combinations of, of these uh, data types. If you're combining only one type, then we call it, the data structure is called a vector. Ito, no? Okay? Data types may be combined to form data structures. So if you, if you have... Uh, a data where you're combining single type lang, it's called a vector or an atomic vector, the complete name. Okay? So, uh, okay. we discussed this already, di ba, kanina? Uh, in fact, we can include the uh, mode, no? class, type of, si storage that mode, pareho lang yun sa mode. And then we haven't looked at the structure, we'll take a look at that uh, later. No? Okay, so what's the main use of this data structure? Okay, it's very important to, uh, well, uh, okay, sorry, this this uh, note here is for this. Huh? The class of an R object can be different from the data type. Okay, so yung class, just like kanina, di ba, yung class ni, ng isang numeric, ang isa, kunyari, class of 2.7, it's numeric. Pero ang ano niya, ang type of niya, double. Diba? Very, this is very useful from, okay, uh, let's let's not discuss yet yung S3 classes. No? Uh, the structure function, sabi dito, okay, is designed to show the full structure of an object. We'll have an example of that. If you want the, to print the R data type, it's used, it's, uh, it's best to use the type of data set. No? Type of. Okay? So if it's numeric, pag tinipe off mo yan, lalabas siya na double. If it's uh, integer, lalabas siya na integer. Yung character, pag character class, okay, magbigay tayo ng example dito. So let's create this object. Let's call it um, E. And it consists of a combination of uh, X and then Y. And then Z. So we have this uh, three elements here, X, Y, Z. And then, again, uh, natin. Oops, na create na. Okay, mode. Mode of, an object natin? Mode of E. Mode ni E. Plus ni E. Tsaka type of. E. All right. So we created this object called E, and we're combining or concatenating. You see, data which is being combined or concatenate X, Y, Z. So we know that this is a vector. Uh, this is a character vector. If we run this code, okay, lahat ng character. So pag character, yung mode niya, yung class niya, at saka yung type of niya, pare pareho. Yung sa numeric lang yung medyo nagbabago. Kahit logical, okay, let's, let's create this object naman, F. F. So, ang laman niya, true, sabihin natin, true, and then false. So, i-run natin to, no? So, may, uh, by the way, when you create objects, di ba, lalabas dito yan. Okay, so you can see now that I created E, di ba? So it's a character. Sabi niya 1, 2, 3. Tatlo yung laman ni <clears throat> E. 
<clears throat> sa character vector. F also is a character, uh, although, although logical to, pero nakalagay pa rin character. Ni. And then let's arrow up. Arrow up para ma-access ko yung previous code na mode class. Para yan na lang papalitan ko. Type of. Okay, let's see. F is a uh, logical vector. No? Proof. Ay, mali. Mali ako. Class. So, dapat. Saan ako nagkamali dito? I wanted a logical vector. Okay. That, that was so careless of me. Pag minode ko si F, character yan. Pero, what I wanted was yung logical vector mismo. So, dapat walang dapat walang wala kapit. Correct. No? Wala siyang quotes. No? Sorry. But let me just uh, create this. Oh, sige, F na lang din. Okay. Control, enter. Okay, so F. Yan na. No? Logical. Uh, I stand corrected a while ago. No? Uh, hindi niya rin, hindi niya pinangalan as character. Kanina character kasi, linagyan natin ng quotes. Alright? And then, if I, if I get the class, the mold, and the type of Logical lahat. Mode niya logical, class niya logical, type of niya uh, logical. Ganun din si character. So, nagbabago lang si numeric at saka si, no, si, si integer. Okay? Uh, questions so far, class? Are we clear? None so far. Okay, good. How Sir, about sorry. the others? Yes? I'd yes? like to clarify lang, sir, kasi kanina I said in Mac OS, uh, yung pag-assign is command minus um, hmm. Mali pala, sir. Para ah, okay. Ano pa... dapat? Um, well, hindi ko pa rin na-figure out, sir. Parang <laughs> I, I thought yun yung lumabas, pero happy okay. na parang okay. nilaan ko lang pala yung data. Oh. Sige, sige. Thank you, ah. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie, for that. So, I'll just, uh, mamaya siguro i-co-correct ko nilang to, no? I-co-question mark ko lang. Okay. Well, if you can, please please help me, Mac users, no, kung ano yung shortcut. Kasi, we're going to use this, eh, yung assignment operator na yan. And so, if you're going to shift muna kayo, tapos less than, tapos minus matagal. So, mas maganda kung may shortcut tayo, no? keyboard shortcut. Okay, so let's let's move on. Uh, so, the different types of data structures are, we have the vectors, we have your list, you have matrices, arrays, factors, and data frames. Okay, did somebody make a comment? <clears throat> Okay, James, may, may question ka? Ah, okay. Ayun, option, option minus. No? Thank you, thank you, James. No? Salamat. So, sa Mac daw, option minus. Very good, very good. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me... Asan yung kanina? Malagay ko na. CMD, no? Command then minus. Okay. <clears throat> thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So as we said, itong ano, tong vectors, alam na natin to, no? This is just a an object containing data of, of similar type, atomic atomic data. No? Atomic ibig sabihin pare-pareho sila. All logical. In my examples natin so far, these are vectors. Okay? If kahit isa lang naman 'yan, even if it has only one element or several elements, as long as of course, if it's only one element, of course, it will be uh, atomic. No? And can be ito, several elements, but all the same. So these are what we call <clears throat> vectors. It, it can be seen in our environment as values. Okay. So let's continue our discussion. Let's have a few more examples of vectors. Okay, here. Okay, here, uh, and dito ni mga codes, you know? 
Okay, uh, I specifically uh, already wrote this para mas mabilis tayo. So we're creating this object called A1 and then the value is 5. If we run this, control enter, you can now see that we have an A1 here and the value is 5. Okay, here we're creating an, an object called nums. It consists of 1.13 and negative 5.7. Okay, and then this will automatically be printed because of the open and close parenthesis. Control enter. You see automatically it's printed. And then it also reflects here in the environment. Okay, you have a numeric vector, three elements. And if we get the class of the object nums, okay, it's numeric. By the way, when you when when you name uh, when you use object names in R, it cannot start with a number. It cannot start with the space. It can only start with a letter, capital or small letter. Okay, and then uh, it cannot be two words. If you want to combine two words and use an underscore. Okay. All right. Then, okay. Now let's generate some a vector of numbers. In R, you can generate uh, many types of numbers. So there's a function called R norm. And what's good with R is that it will give you some help about a particular function. Okay, so how do you get help about R norm? So let me just, you can type it here. Okay, here, question mark R norm. And let's run this, control enter. <clears throat> and it will go here. Here in the files, plots, and packages uh, window pane, you have this help. <clears throat> okay, so lalabas dito sa help yung <clears throat> uh, function na R norm. All right. So let's take a look at this. Dito, ang sinasabi sa atin, it's coming from the stats package. Okay? And stats package is already preloaded with R. So we don't need to install this package kasi naka-preload na to. No? So this, it gives us several types of uh, uh, examples of, an, of a normal distribution function. Pwede D norm, P norm, Q norm, R norm. What we're going to look at is R norm. And the syntax is R norm n, okay, mean is equal to zero, SD is equal to one, standard deviation is equal to one. So if you want to generate a set of numbers, 100 numbers, and with a mean of zero and standard deviation is equal to one, which is, by the way, what type of normal distribution is this? Anyone? If the mean is equal to zero, and the standard deviation is equal to one. What what do you call that that normal distribution? Letter S. Standard. Yes, thank you. Standard, standard normal normal distribution, and that's the default. Okay, this is the default. You can. It's okay not to write mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is equal to one. Okay, let's copy this and let's just run this in our, I'll just run it in, in my code chunk. You may wish to run that in your, uh, in your uh, console, and, I mean, in your source window. I'll just run it in my console. By the way, there are still other, there are discussions here, explanation, where it came from, in source ng, ng function na yan, references, and then here are some examples. May mga examples dito, which you can copy and then run sa, sa R. So it's a very good uh, reference uh, reference or help function, which you can see here. Okay, so let's just copy the this one, R norm. Okay, you can use this, or you can use, uh, you can, you can, not include the mean and the standard deviation is equal to zero and one respectively, because that will be the default. If you don't put anything there, then R will read that to be zero and standard deviation is equal to one. However, if you want another mean, then you can, you can reflect it here. Okay, so let me just run this first, and let's run, let's say, just 10, just, just as a sample. Okay. All right. 
So we have here 10 random numbers. Okay. Mine is negative 163, 0 0.97, 0 0.74, etc. <clears throat> this one refers to the index. Bracket one refers to this one being the first element in our data. Five here means this is the fifth element. <clears throat> and nine here means this is the ninth. So nine and 10. Okay, so there are 10 elements because I said here, uh, give me 10 normal, uh, normally distributed random numbers with mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is equal to one. Okay. All right. In fact, what the what we could have done was to uh, was to create an object out of that. So let's uh, let me create an object called R1. So that this object will be let me just small the small letters out minus in your case command minus. If I create this object R1 using the function R norm 10 mean is equal to zero standard deviation is equal to one. Okay, Rita, there's a question here. All right, good, good question, Michelle. Okay, so these are random numbers. Definitely, we will have different numbers. Okay. So Michelle has a different output. I'm sure uh, Alexis has a, James has a different output. Alvin has a different output, Blaze. Okay, do you confirm, class? Do you confirm that you have yes, sir. A yes, different sir. outputs? Because random numbers. Though. Okay, so I'll, I'll, but I'll teach you another way to do this. All right. In fact, if I create another object, if I create an object called R1 and then run this, Okay, so ipapa print ko na to, no? I'm going to put it in parentheses so that ma print na si R1. Okay, control enter. All right, now I have different numbers then. Okay, iba na naman siya. Kasi every time you run this, magra random, magra random number yan. No? Okay, but if we check, kasi ang, ang sa atin dito, mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is equal to one. Check na natin kung ang mean ni R1. Okay. So I'm asking R to get the mean of R1. So it should be close to zero kasi sabi natin dapat yung mean itong random numbers na to should be zero. And let's see. So uh, semicolon, standard deviation ni R1. Okay, let's see what's the mean and the standard deviation. Okay. The mean is 0 0.079. Not not really not not really very close no to mean of zero and si standard deviation then medyo hindi naman malapit kay one and the reason for that is that we have a very small sample okay napakaliit ng sample natin if I decide let's say I'm going to create another object called R two R two naman to tapos hindi ko ipiprint kasi dadagdagan ko lang class yung ano I'm not going to print it. I'm going to make this 10,000, for example. And dami yan, di ba? 10,000. And the mean, let's change the mean to, let's say, 100. Pwede naman kasi natin baguhin yan. Or, wait, ha, hindi ko pa pala napapakita. If we don't include the mean and the standard deviation, it will assume that the mean is zero and the standard deviation is equal to one. Okay? Kasi default yun, no? Default siya. So, pag hindi natin linagay yun, magdi-default siya sa mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is equal to one. Tapos, isama na natin dito, no? para isang ano na lang, mean of R2 and standard deviation of R2. Okay, what am I doing now? I'm creating another object using R norm and then I increased the size kasi kanina 10 lang. Okay, I made it 10,000. And then, we get the mean of R2 and the standard deviation of R2, it should be pretty close to 0 and 1 respectively. Closer than R1. Okay, control enter. Okay, there. So yung object natin, andi dito, no? Yan na. It's a numerical vector. Okay. And then the uh, mean is negative 0 0.007. This is a lot closer to 0 than, than this one, yung R1 natin. And then the standard deviation is 0.9966. Practically, that's one. 
Okay? So, mas malaki yung sample natin, yung size ng sample natin, mas malapit siya dun sa ano, sa mean at saka sa standard deviation. Okay, any questions so far, class? Can we chat, please? If, uh, uh, okay, tayo so far sa, sa discussion natin. Okay, good. How about the others? Good so far. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback because I want to see if we're on the same page. And uh, I, I'm I'm not worried that you'll ask questions because this is a master's class. Unlike kapag misang pag undergrad medyo nahihiya pa magtanong. All right. Okay, so uh, what we did was to generate random numbers and we had different answers. Now, what I want is we, we want to generate the same random numbers. Okay, so <clears throat> let's create this object. Let's just call it para pare pareho tayo, R, maybe R5 or R3. <clears throat> okay, you can name it any way you want, alt minus. And then here we have R norm. Ba? Let's use uh, 100 na lang. Mean is equal to, let's say, mean is equal to 50. Standard deviation is equal to 3. It's an example. Now, definitely, <clears throat> definitely when we, uh, let's print this, when we generate this, it will not be the same. Okay? So how do I make this the same? <clears throat> We're going to use this function, set.seed. <clears throat> okay? So that set.seed function will, uh, will make our randomly uh, generated numbers the same. Okay? So we just have to identify a number for the seed. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. So please type this also. 1, 2, 3, 4. Set that seed 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to run. <clears throat> we're going to create this object called R3 <clears throat> with randomly uh, uh, random gen randomly generated numbers. Okay. Mean is equal to 50 and standard deviation is equal to 3. <clears throat> Let's run this. Okay. Ang sabi dito... Okay, dito pinangalanan natin ang devs. Mamaya palitan na lang natin. Okay, so this is to generate. Okay, let me transfer this. Control X and then Control D. Para isa yung comment dyan. No? Tapos dito, Control X, Control D. And then let's change this. Create object R3 na lang. Okay, let's just change this R3. <clears throat> Uh, with mean equals to 50 and standard deviation is equal to 3. All right. Okay. All right. So we're creating this object. Okay. So it printed kasi, diba nagpa-print tayo? Open and close parentheses. And then we should have the same. This is 100. 100 random numbers they're supposed to be they're supposed to be normally distributed okay feedback please do we have the same random numbers no sir sa akin so, hindi po oh no bakit bakit no um kasi ang rinan ko lang r3 no i deliberately did that i should have run this Set that seed. Dapat sinabay kong iran yan. Kasi kung hindi ko rin nang si ah. set that seed, no? So dapat kasama yung set that seed class. I para see. magkakapareho tayo ng random, random numbers. Okay, let me run that again. Control enter. All right. Now, take a look. Do we now have the same random numbers? 100. 46.37 ba sa inyo? Yes po. Yung... Yes yeah. po. Oh. Okay, Go good. Na. So pareho na tayo, no? Now we can work on... Uh, we can work on the same data. We can uh, plot the data. So, so dapat pareho yung output natin. Eh? Kasi pareho na yung uh, numeric vector natin. All right. So view the object. Okay, how do you view the object? Print it naman sa dito. But there are other ways to view the object. We can use the head function. <clears throat> so the head function will give us will give us the first six observations. So if I uh, if I type uh, Okay, head R3, and then let's uh, also 
use the tail function, tail R3, and then let's give it a number 10. Okay, take a look at this function. Uh, first, the head function, head ng R3, it will give us the first six observations. Okay, if I don't put a number here, for example, I put 20, yung number dito, it tells R how many observations you want printed. Okay, so I'll just use the default, which is six. Ito naman yung tail, the last, here I place 10, the last 10. Okay, so maybe let's run this here so that we preserve this, control C. Nakita naman pala yun. Anyway. Hello, sir. Yes? Sir, yung ano ko, R3, hindi nag-generate. Nag-error. Nag-error. Okay, sige nga. Let's see. Uh, stop share ako. Okay, can you share your screen? Who's this? Uh, si Mark, sir. Mark, oh, sige. Mark, can you share your screen, please? Okay. Ito, sir. Set that seed one two three four r three norm. Okay, tama naman yung code mo. Highlight mo nga yung first two lines. Ano po, sir? Highlight mo yung first two lines. Yan. Kahit hindi na kasama yung comment. Okay, okay lang yan. Sige. Iran mo nga siya. Control, enter. Control, enter. Ay. Yeah, ay, 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 sir. Siya. Anong ginawa mo kanina? Ah, uh, meto lang, sir. Iran. Maganda. Ah, okay. That should have run also. Sige, subukan mo ulit na yun ang gamitin mo. O, ay. Ay, yun na, sir. Nag-run siya. Nag-run siya. O, mag-run. kasi, sir, lumalabas to. Let's Error see. attempt. Mm -hmm. Zero length Please. variable name. Okay, ba? Zero length variable name. Nasulat mo na ba yung R3 kanina? Kasi baka yes, po, sir. Hmm. Or, tapos yun din ang ginamit mo, yung run dun sa ano? Oo oh, po, sir. Wala naman akong binago. Ito Ba't lang. Ba't kaya, sir. no? <laughs> Kasi, Ayun, yes, hindi yung, yung anong yan, yung, yung result na yan, Doon yan sa ano yun, tinan mo, yung sa, ah, tinan mo yung nasa taas niya. Yung sa console. Ano yung nasa taas ng error? Use zero length variables. Oh, yan. Ano yung nasa taas niya? R, yan. sir? Ayan, oo. Oh, diba? Oh, incomplete na code yan eh. So parang yan, ang, yan lang na-run yan. Hmm. Baka ang na-run mo lang, ang na-highlight mo palagay ko yung, yan, subukan mo, i-highlight. Ito lang, sir. Oo, oh, highlight na. Sige. Ah. Highlight mo lang yan. Sige. Sir, yung meaning yung ko dito siya. sa may create objects na line, naka zero, free zero po. Supposedly, dapat 50 and yung uh, standard deviation 3. Saan, saan? Dito po sa may R3 na line po, yung dun sa create object. Mm -hmm. uh, yung mean po niya naka zero. So, chinish ko po sa akin kaya nagka-parehas 50 po tapos yung standard oh. deviation 3 po dapat. Oh, pero comment lang naman yan eh, kaya na-curious. Comment, mm -hmm. comment lang siya. No? Naka, kaya naka-blue siya. No? So, uh, hindi siya makaka-affect ng, ano, ng, ng uh, output. Mm -hmm. Pero, i-run mo nga ulit. Uh, ano? uh, Sige. Yan. Sige. Tapos, i-run mo yung, yung, yung code. Yung nasa upper right. Yung, ano, yung symbol. Ay, ito, sir. O. Sige. Iba naman yung lumabas, no? Yes, sir. You the object. Ang lumabas lang yung... Ah, nag-run ba siya? I-sweep mo nga yung, ano, yung upper right. Ito pa, sir? Hindi. Sa, sa console. Sa console window okay. pane. Upper right. Yan. Kita mo yung sweep na yan. Yung room. Wali sino pa yan. Sige nga. Para, sige. Tinan ulit natin. I-run. Highlight mo yung R na yan. Tapos, i-run natin. Nag-run siya, no? Opo, oh, sir. Nag-run siya. Ayan, pero tingnan mo, ah. Tingnan mo yung taas niya. Yan. Linagay niya kung ano yung code. Oo, oh, pa, sir. Yan. Apparently, yung nasa taas, hindi yun yung code na naran mo. Baka akala mo lang na hindi nag-run. Hmm. Okay, sir. Sige pa. Uh, sige. Pali, sir, importante yung highlight, no, sir, pag nag-run talaga. Which one? Pag nag-run ka, sir. Oh, highlight mo 
pag specific lang na ano na kunyari may code jam ka tapos maraming it has so many uh, so many lines of code there and if you want to just run a particular particular code then you either actually uh uh sige mag magrun ka lang diyan ng ano sa i enter mo yung set that seed uh put yes, your sir. cursor in front of set that scene sa front lang sa front yes, sa harap sa harap mismo bago mag s bago ah, mag set bago. oh yan bago yung cursor mo hindi yung yan yung line na ano yung yung pipeline na, na nag nagbi-blink ibunta mo siya sa harap ito sir yan ipunta mo siya sa harap ng seat set de sige ako na lang ha Ah, sige, sige, sige. Ang hirap mag ano, ang hirap magbigay. Ah, uh, uh, problema ko 'yon, ang hirap magbigay ng instructions pag ganito eh. Sige, I'll, I'll share, share my screen. I just want to illustrate something. Yung pag-highlight at saka yung pag pag-run a specific line of code, no? So share screen rito ko. Okay. So you have this by set that in. Binare mag-aan lang ako dito. Okay, I'm going to create another object R10. R10. R10, no? And let's let's suppose this is just 100. Now you have this code chunk. If you just want to run a particular line, ito lang yung R10 lang. Ipunta mo lang yung ano mo dyan, yung cursor mo dyan. Anywhere here, kahit dito, kahit dyan, kahit sa simula, kahit sa tulo, kahit sa gitna, anywhere there. Ang irarun lang ni R yan. Okay? So magdadagdag pa ako ng isa R11. R11, let's say Alt minus 101. Okay? Sample lang to, ha? Okay, I'm go I'm I want R to run R10 lang. So I just go here. Anywhere here, sa simula, sa gitna, anywhere there. Kunyari dito lang ilalagay ko. Control enter. Okay, just to check ah. Okay, yung object sa objects natin. Okay, hanggang R3 lang ako no. Hindi ko pa nararan yung ano kasi kanina. Ah, uh, wait. Hanggang R3 lang ako. Now, if I run this, ngari dito ko lang ilalagay. Control Enter. Okay, ang rinan lang niya ito lang, yung R10 lang. Hindi na it did not run the other, the other uh, lines of code. If I want to run several lines, highlight ko lang yung dalawa, and then I run that. Yan, dalawa na rinan niya, R10 and R11. Okay. Clear so far, class? Yung pag-highlight, yes, yes. kung you only highlight kung anong gusto mong i-run. Pero, kunyari, gusto mong i-run yung buong code chunk, you don't have to highlight that. Ito na lang i-run mo no? para mas mabilis kaysa i-highlight mo pala. Okay? So, nag-create ako ng R10, R11. If I want to remove R10 and R11, I'm just going to use RM. Remove, no? Remove R10. Okay? Control, enter. Nawala na si R10 dito. Remove RM, remove R11. Okay, nawala na si R11. So the RM function will just remove any object that you want. So if I want to remove F, then I just I just use RM and F. No? Okay, so let we learned how to get the heads, the tails. No? Okay, so let's go here. Nasusunod. Ano pa yung pinapagawa sa atin? Okay, view the object. What is the mean and the standard deviation? Diba ginawa natin mean 50 at saka standard deviation 3? Just like a while ago, let's get the mean of R, R3. Okay? And then sabay na natin si standard deviation yung R3. <clears throat> to get the mean of the, and the standard deviation, it should be close to 50, but not so much kasi 100 lang yung sample natin. Okay? So we have 49.5 and 3.01. Okay, but it's quite close, no? But it would be closer if we increase the size. <clears throat> okay, then generate the five number summary and the mean. Okay, so this this is one thing good with R. We can make use of the summary function. Summary. Ipap summarize natin si R3. So what will this do? Summary R3. <clears throat> okay. Summary R3, and then what do we do, class? We run this, control enter. All right. 
and it will generate yung five number summaries. What are the five number summaries? Minimum, maximum, quartile one, quartile two, quartile three. Okay? Yun ang five number summaries no? developed by Tuki. Si Tuki yung statistician na nag-develop niya. Okay? Si Tuki. No? Minimum, maximum, first quartile, second quartile, which is the median, and third quartile, and the mean. Uh, mean, mean dinagdag na lang natin. Average siya. Okay? So, if you can see, the mean and the median are quite close to each other, which means that, kasi, di ba, pag, pag uh, standard normal distribution, pag, uh, pag, pag talagang perfect na normal distribution, the mean and the median should be equal. That's the, that's the nature of a normal distribution. The median and the mean are equal. Dito, medyo yung mean nasa right, no? 49.53, but not not far from the median, 48.85. So, ibig sabihin nun, may mga data tayo na more to the right. Kaya, yung mean, hinihila niya yung average papuntang kanan. So, this is quite a, little, a bit right skewed, no? skewed to the right a bit. Medyo may mga tails, may mga values tayo na uh, nasa na, towards the right. Alright, then we can plot and one thing good with R, it's very good with plotting. Hist, right? You can use the uh, hist function, hist, histogram R3. Right? Okay, tinan natin kung yung histogram niya, control enter. Okay, does it look like a, uh, a normal distribute, normal distributed? Yes, oh, medyo, no, no? Pwede kong i, ano to, i, i print. Yan. Mas malaki. Eh? Yan. Histogram ni R3. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko medyo may skew siya sa ano, sa right tail. No? Yan. Medyo yung concentration data medyo marami dito sa bandang kanan. But not so much. Okay, skewed to the right. Okay, any questions so far? Dito sa code chunk natin na to? None so far. Okay, good. How about the others? Clear ba? Uh, good, oh, sir. No, none po, sir. Okay. So, I hope by now nakikita nyo yung, ano, ano, yung, yung gamit ni R, di ba? Yung power niya. Ang dami natin mga ano dito. In fact, yung sa, yung sa, ano nyo, sa case studies, yung sa project, uh, yung sa mga, hindi yung sa paper, uh, syempre, R ang gagamitin natin. Pati yung sa paper nyo, so I said, dapat R ang RMD or kwarto pa lang, R kwarto. Okay, let me see na. Okay, thank you so much for the feedback. Alright, so ito, devs, right? Uh, highlight natin to, no? Highlight natin, then control F. Dito. Control F, parang sa ano din to sa word. Hanapin natin si devs para mas mabilis. Devs dito. Palitan lang natin ng replace ng R3. No? Kasi R3 yung object natin. Yan, no? What I did was, Highlight this one, highlight this, and then control F. Lumabas ngayon dito si, uh, sinulat natin dito devs para palitan natin si devs ng R3. Okay? Pwedeng all, no? All, five occurrences, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Kasi hinighlight natin there. Okay? So, okay, we expect that the class of R3 should be Ano answer dito, class? Class niya is, ano? Of course, R3 is a numeric vector, di ba? Randomly, uh, norm, randomly generated. So expect it to be no, uh, numeric. And then ang length, ang length na isang vector will give us the number of observations. So ang length niya is 100. Yung mode, alam natin na ang mode will be numeric din to. Na ano na natin to, na discussion natin kanina. Type of ganun din, type of will be type double po. Sorry? Ah. ah. Yeah, double, double, po. double po ata lang. Ay, yeah. kulang po ng e, sir. Sa Ay, type sorry, of. Sorry, sorry. Tao yeah. lang, nagkakamali. Okay lang po. <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Type of, okay, you're correct. Double, no? Double. 
Alright? Dapat ilalagay ko yung participants para nalalaman ko kasi yun yung nag, uh, nagsasalita. Hindi ko pa kasi kabisado yung voices nyo. Alright, type of double siya. And then finally, the structure. Structure. Okay, it, itong, ay sorry, STR lang yan. No? Structure, R3. Okay, so it's a numeric vector. Tapos binibigay niya yung, yung first, first six. One, two, three, four, third side lang pala in this case. So it's a numeric vector, one up to 100. So ang structure ng numeric, ng vector natin, is numeric containing from 1 to 100 and then a sample of this. All right. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, dito sa next, ito naman. Okay, ganun din to, no? Ganun din. So, sige. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Parang practice lang din. Set that seed tayo. Okay, let's use another number. 99. Set that seed 99. Kahit anong number yan, for as long as pare-pareho tayo. And then dito daw mag-create ng devs2. Okay, devs2. Devs2, out minus, command minus sa uh, Mac. Okay, and then R norm again, R norm. Uh, one, yan to? 10,000. Oh, 10,000. Tama. Okay. Mean is equal to 90. And standard deviation is equal to 10. Alright. Now what will happen if we print this? Paano kung nilagyan ko nito ng ganito? Okay? Hindi niya mapiprint lahat sa ilalim yung 10,000. Kasi ang ang default lang, ang maximum lang 1,000. Sige, highlight muna natin to Highlight. And then control enter. Alright. So here, you can see here that nagprint lang siya ng uh, 1,000. No? Tama ba? 1,000. One thousand lang, no? Uh, number nine nine six, nine nine seven, nine nine eight, nine nine nine. One thousand. One thousand lang. Inomit niya yung nine thousand. Kasi default yan, no? It will not print everything. They reach get option maximum that print. Pwede rin ano? Pwede rin natin iprint lahat no? yung ten thousand. Pwede rin yun. Magaan dulan tayo ng maglalagay lang tayo ng ano? Ng di natin imamax that print. Pero let's not do that, kasi di naman natin kailangan i-print lahat ng 10,000. Uh, ubus yung ano natin. That would be very long. No? Okay. Alright, then close ko na muna to. So this comment is for this one. And then check down. Check. Check yung mean. I'm oh, sorry. Check natin yung mean. Mean of devs2. Comma. And then standard deviation. Of devs two, devs two. Okay, ano pa ba? And then sa ang pagtapos daw, is summary daw yung summary, summary devs. Okay, you can put in one line yung mga functions. Okay, so mean ng devs two, standard deviation ng devs two, cakas summary ng devs two. Check ko lang if we have generated the Devs object. Kailangan makita natin yung devs object na to dito. No? Yan, devs to. Alright. Kasi, so let me just show you. What if I use devs3? Devs3 dito, devs3, and devs3. Na walang object na devs3 dito, di ba? So mag -e error yan. Kasi R will not recognize that object. Control, enter, and error in devs3. Object devs3 not found. Okay, so we change this, devs2, devs2, and devs2. There. Okay? And then run this. There. Okay? So, ang average niya is 90, very close to 90, 90.01. Kasi malaki yung sample size natin. And then standard deviation is practically 5. And then yung summary niya, di ba? Ito yung 5 number summaries, right? Uh, 6 number but if five number summary, we have the minimum, the maximum, the first quartile, the uh, tinan yung median at saka mean. They're very close. They're very close. Okay, which is what a normal distribution is supposed to be. The median and the mean should be approximately equal. 
And then tingnan natin, magdagdag tayo dito ng his ni devs2. Ito mas maganda yung normal distribution nito kasi <clears throat> malaki yung observation ng sample size natin. Run natin. Okay, let me just Ito no, pwede natin i-print out. Yan. Okay, yan ba? So can see that uh, walang skewness no alus alus pa rin pareho kasi yung mean natin at saka yung ano yung median natin they go inside dito no? okay pause muna ako class any questions so far no Men sir okay good good we're progressing very very well all right so in the next uh, code chunks we'll just have other examples so ito, no, we have this, we're creating this object G and it's a combination of one up to 10. Let's just take a look at the difference between uh, this one, one to 10 and naming it one hanggang 10. So yung isa G, yung isa G1, run natin to. Okay, so pareho lang naman siya na one to 10. And however, the difference is, tingnan nito G. G is numeric. G1 is integer. Okay? So, kapag ginamita natin ng ganito na colon, 1 up to 10, colon, then that will be integer type. Pag ito, ina-identify natin is isa, that's a numerical type. So, check natin tong tatlong to. Okay? <clears throat> Control, enter. Okay. Class G and class G1, numeric at saka integer. Magkaiba siya. Type of G, si G, ang type niya, uh, sorry, okay, uh, wait, huh? class ni G is numeric, class ni G1 is integer, Tama. type of ni G is double, type of ni G1 is integer, and the length, both of G and G1, it should be 10. Kasi parehong 10 yung 10, yung 10 observations. Yun. Okay, so I think that's self-explanatory. I just wanted to point out here the difference between generating a vector of the numbers using colon uh, as compared to specifying the numbers. Okay, this will generate a ito, numeric vector. To. Well, this one will be integer vector. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we're creating an object called K. And then we know this is uh, an integer vector. I say, uh, my L tayo, eh? 1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Tapos kunin natin yung class niya, tsaka type all. <clears throat> so print, print K, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Class ni K is integer. Type of ni K is integer then. Kung sinama natin si, let's include mode, mode ni K, we know that this should be numeric yung mode niya. No? Run. Okay, numeric yung mode. Class and type of are integers. Okay, so I'm going, uh, moving ahead. No, uh, Any questions so far? I hope our pace is uh, okay. Is it okay, class, not to anymore have a break? Kasi 11.24 na naman. Siguro yes, mag, mag ano na lang tayo ng mga 11.50. No? Just a, a bit ahead of time. Pero palagay ko mag-12 pa tayo. <laughs> Kasi gusto natin uh, as far as... as, as uh, Ang goal natin, class, ano, as I said, uh, 400-500 lahat to. No? Okay? Pero I'm showing iba dito. Kasi nasusundan nyo ng iba, I'm sure kayang-kaya nyo na yan. Uh, we'll, I'll just make sure that we have yung data frame as an example para maintindihan natin kung ano yung difference ng vector. Tsaka, now we're about to go to the list already. Okay, so punta na tayo dito. Okay. So here, yung iba hindi na natin irarun kasi uh, I'll, I'll just go through through it and then I'm sure you'll, you'll already understand that. Huh? Okay, where were we? Okay. 
So ito, okay, we generate this object called M and we know that this is a numeric, di ba? Kasi in-identify na. Okay, randa natin sabay-sabay ito. So we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, numeric siya. Type niya, double. Okay. Now, I'm going to create an object called N. Dito. No? N. And then, sasabihin ko, as that integer si N. So si M, which is already existing, ba? dito na si M, no? M is here. It's a numeric vector there. Okay. So, so um, ito is this is to coerce, to force M to become an integer. And then we have this object called N. So, sige, iran natin to as that integer. Okay. So, nagi integer siya. Diba? So, when you're kanina, encode natin at to ng is that integer. That asks kung integer ba yung isang object or not. Ito naman, as that integer, it forces the object to be. Uh, to become what we want it to become. For example, let's let's try another one. So lang mag, mag create tayo n1, n1 out minus, and then as that character, as that character si m. Okay, then copy na lang natin to. Control C, Control V, and then let's print this. So I'm creating this object N1, type of N1. Okay, hindi na, hindi na pala kailangan lagyan to ng parenthesis to mga to, no? Kasi code yan eh. That's a function. So talaga mag, mag generate ng answer si ano. So ito, uh, you, you can delete this, no? Mali ito. Dapat wala na yan. Ang linalagyan lang ng parenthesis, yung object na gusto natin i-print. Yung class, command yan eh. So whether you put parenthesis or not, it you generate the answer. You don't need to put parenthesis. Okay, here we're creating an object called N L N one from the from the uh, vector M. Tapos ginagawa natin character. Okay, control enter. Pwede ba siya? Pwede, no? Kasi si numeric pwedeng gawing character yan. Pero pag may vector ka na, okay, tina natin dito. Let's see, may example ba tayo dito na ano? Wala. Ah, ito to. No? Si E. No? Si E. Di ba si E? So, si E, di ba ano siya? Character vector yan. So, I'm going to create this E1. Okay. Control, uh, Alt minus. And then, as that numeric. As that numeric. Numeric. Si E. So, ang sabi ko dito, i-coerce natin si E, which is X, Y, Z, as a numeric. Can that be done? Tingnan natin, ha? Wala, no? Not applicable. Not applicable. Okay? So, naglagay siya ng E1, object, pero ang laman niya, empty. Wala. Not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. Kasi we're coercing a character into a numeric vector, which cannot be. Hindi siya compatible. Pero kung numeric, pwede mong gawing character. So, uh, yun ang inaan natin sa coercion. Alright, so, I hope I'm not going fast enough. Uh, I hope okay lang, no? Kasi alam ko naman na, uh, I hope na kukuha nyo, no? Alright, ito ganun din, no? So, we will not run this. Here we're creating an object called left, which is a character vector. Wala dito, tanggalin na. Pakitanggal na lang to class. Okay. Here, nag-create tayo ng character vector. Pwede ba natin siyang gawing integer? Hindi. So this will not run. No? Okay? That will not run. Alright. So yung coercion kasi ganito. Yung the lowest type is logical. So si logical, pwede gawing integer yan. Logical can be made into numeric or complex or character. Okay? So ito yung regular na uh, coercion. So a logical can be converted into a character. Okay, yung true na word, pwede nilang ilagyan ng quotes yan. All of the data, data types here can be converted into character. But the reverse may not be true. It may not be true. Minsan pa pwede. Kunyari yung character, nat, yung character vector natin. Okay, example. Okay, I think may mga examples tayo sa baba. No? 
Okay, sa baba na lang so that we don't waste on time. Okay, so pwede ma-convert from higher rank to lower rank kung compatible. So for example, ito, we will not run this anymore. We're creating this object called W. Anong class yung object to? Anong class to? Diba integer to? No? 0 to 6 uh, colon, that's an integer. So here we're creating an object called W1. And this is a, this is a numeric naman. No? Kasi in-identify natin 0, 1 to 6. Now, pepe di ba na si, ano, si, si W, pwedeng gawing numeric yan? Okay, pwede ba? So si W, i-convert daw natin, gagawin natin numeric. Hindi mm, yata, sir. Uh, di ba kasi integer to, no? Control, enter. Yan. Si W integer siya. No? Can we convert an integer into numeric? Yes, we can. Kasi integer, pwede natin gawing numeric yan. yan. Hierarchy. An integer can always be converted into a numeric. But a numeric may may or may not be converted into an integer. Okay? So may, may cases na ang numeric pwede maging integer. May cases naman si numeric hindi pwede maging so, yung forward compatibility, okay lagi yan. Logical to character, pwede yan. Pero yung backward, not always. There will be times na pwedeng i-backward yung, yung, ano, yung coercion, but not all of the time. Okay, yan, yan lang ang gusto kong sabihin dyan, yung coercion. Okay, so if you take a look at this, gawin kong numeric si, ano, si, si W, pwede ba? Tingnan natin yung class nito. Control, enter. Let's see. Ano naging class na? Okay, di ba? Naging integer na siya. So we were able to convert. Okay. So I'll leave you guys to uh, look at this. No? Yung iba. Ano lang naman siya, no? Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, it's just, it's just uh, coercing. So you can just take a look kung pwede bang i-convert siya into logical, into character. Dito pe pwede yun. Di ba? or into complex, etc. Alright. Sige, let's go here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, how about this? 11.30, uh, pa. So here we're creating this object. Okay, called G. No? And we expect this to be, alam naman natin na ano to, no? na integer. No? Integer siya. Magawin na lang natin to. Lagyan na natin dito yung pag-print. Yan, okay. So, G is uh, 1 to 1,000. Okay, na-double ito. Alright. Ano nangyari dito? What happened here? Saan ako may error dito? Bakit nag error si G? Ito. Tama ata yung parenthesis. Ay, wait, wait. Ah, okay. Kasi clean, hindi ko pa clean o si G dito. No? Yan. Yan, okay. Yan, dapat clean o ko muna si G kasi ipiprint siya. Okay, let me run this line. Ah, hindi ko na ipiprint ka sa Kasi 1,000. 1,000 lines siya. No? 1,000 um, objects. Okay, sample. Alright, so integer siya, di ba? 1 to 1,000. If I take a look at the all and global environment, CG, integer siya, 1 to 1,000. Okay, now let's go to another, ano, another function. Sample naman. So this is also another way to generate random numbers. Ang difference ng R norm Si R norm talagang magja-generate siya ng ng uh, random numbers, no? Itong sample naman magja-generate siya ng numbers pero kukuha siya from a certain uh, parang para magde-define tayo ng isang ano, ng isang bowl. May mga numbers yung bowl niya, tapos doon siya kukuha. In a sense, parang random pa rin siya pero limited yung pwedeng niyang pagkuhaan. No? Okay? So here, we're setting that C 99 and then we're creating this object called G1, and it's coming from that sample, from this function sample. 
Ano isa sample niya? Si G. So ang mangyayari dito, si G, isipin niyo si G parang nasa bowl siya. No? Parang may mga pingpong balls tayo, tapos na, may, na, may label yon 1, 2, 3, hanggang 1,000. Tapos ang gagawin ni R, kukuha siya dun. Okay? Kukuha siya dun. Tapos, yung replace is equal to true, ibig sabihin nito, pagkuha niya, pwede niya ibalik. Ibabalik niya. So, kukuha tayo ng, ng 50 na numbers from that bowl of 1,000. Tapos, pwedeng may maulit. Bakit? Kasi replace is equal to true. Ibig sabihin, binalik natin yung number. So, kunyari, na-draw na out yung 10. Binalik natin 10, inuno ulit, uh, in scramble, and then, we draw out, we will draw out again another one. Pwede makuha yung number niya. Alright? So, how many numbers are we going to generate? 50. We will gen will we generate the same numbers? Yes. Kasi magsisat that seed time. Okay, so, i-run natin to, yung buong to, no? Uh, Naran ko na yung G. Okay? 1 to 1,000 siya. Yung class ni G, integer. So, let me just run this. Okay, set that seed. Create G1. So, mangyari yung papalitan si G1 na to. Okay, control enter. <clears throat> there. Alright, if you run the same code, pare-pareho tayo. Pare-pareho tayong numbers. <clears throat> so you notice that these are numbers from 1 up to 1,000. Possible na may umulit kasi replace is equal to true. If you don't want any repetition, replace is equal to false. Okay. Alright. So, question, class, do you have the same numbers as mine? Nag-set that seed yes, tayo? Dapat, yeah, pareho dapat tayo. So, 50 lahat yan. No? 50 lahat. To check, this is the 40th sample. 40, 41, 42, 43, hanggang 50. 50 siya. Our last, our last sample is 60. Our first is 432. Okay? So, ganun yung sample. No? Sample na data set. Sample na function. Alright. Uh, tapos, of course, you can get the mean of this, the standard deviation, etc. of G1. And then we have here character variables naman. Okay? So ito, error to, no? yung unang line. Bakit? Kasi hindi mara-recognize si Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday dito because it's not in quotes. If we run this, error siya. No? Monday not found. But if we run this, ito, okay yun. No? Kasi in quotes, so character siya. And then length, ilang elements ni I, fine. Okay. Any questions? Any questions, class? La? Okay. So yes. this, okay, thank you. This is what I was uh, telling you about kanina. We'll create, an, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll create an object called X, and it consists of uh, integer, numerical, uh, logical, and character. If we run this, kung dalawang to, no? Notice na, kinu-urge niya. Yung one na integer, ginawa niyang, ano, ginawa niyang uh, character. Otherwise, mag error yan. Kung hindi siya mag coerce Type character. Okay. Ganon din dito, class, sa ano, sa, na-mention na natin po kanina, si logical vector. Si logical, pwedeng uh, written or pwedeng uh, nakatype na ganito. Uh, yung first letters lang. Okay. So here we have, uh, we will not run this. This is just integer. This is uh, numerical, no? Okay. Uh, ito na lang. So, sige, i-run natin. Let's run numbers, which is 1 to 10 na, na uh, ano yan, yung integer. And then numbers 1 na numerical. Yan. Okay. And then we can perform. We can perform operations. Si numbers is numerical, di ba? Plus, mag plus 2 tayo dyan, we'll just add 2 to all the elements. Pag nag square root ng 10 tayo, times square root of 10, so we'll just multiply each of the elements by square root of 10. Okay? So, dito, nag-create tayo ng panibagong object, numbers 2, na 1 to 6 lang. Okay, 1 to 6 lang si number 2. Si numbers, si numbers, si numbers 1 to 10 siya, di ba? So, 
numbers 1 to 10, si numbers 2, 1 to 6. So what will happen if I add numbers in numbers 2? Ang mangyayari niyan, i-add lang niya, okay, i-add niya kay numbers 1, kay numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, tapos uulit siya. No? Kasi si numbers 2, anim lang eh. Uulit siya ng 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Yung apat lang madadagdagan niya kasi hanggang 6 lang siya. So, <clears throat> let's run this. Numbers and numbers 2. Add natin. Nagsabi lang siya, no? The longer object length is not a multiple of the short, shorter object. However, nag-add nag pa rin siya. So, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Sixth number. And first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Tapos uulit siya, pero 1, 2, 3, 4 na lang, no? Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Okay, kasi hanggang 1 to 6 lang siya. Okay, uh, is that clear, class? Uh, I'm not anymore focusing on the uh, those that are that are easily understood unless you have any clarification. So pag vectors, pwede natin i-add yan, pwede i-multiply. Pero pag hindi the same yung length, ang mangyayari niya, yung lower number, uulit lang siya. Kunyari, example natin dito, yung 1 to 6. After we added 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 6, ang mangyayari, yung 7 dito, i-add natin yung 1. So uulit-ulit yung 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang 4 na lang kasi yung apat na lang natitira. No? Okay. And then there's this another another function, yung sequence naman. No? Okay, so far na, na ano natin R norm and then we have sample. So sample naman, di ba? We'll, we will be drawing numbers from a certain lot. So dapat ma-identify natin muna yung yung quote unquote fishbowl na yan of containing numbers. Ito naman yung sequence, ito. Okay, anong ginagawa nito? So you ident two ways. There are actually several ways, but we'll just look at this. Okay, so dito, identify natin anong number tayo magsisimula, tapos saan magtatapos, tapos ano yung increment niya. So here we're specifying the step size. So we're saying, you start with 1 and end with 3, and dapat, ang increment niya 0.2, dapat equal yun. Ano? So let's, let's generate this. Okay, yun. Kita nyo. Increments 1.2 equal, hanggang umabot siya ng 3. Okay? Tapos ito naman, sequence 1 hanggang 5, length that out naman. Dito ang, ang definition natin yung increment. Dito naman yung size ng vector. Dito gusto natin apat na numbers. Magsisimula siya sa 1, magtatapos siya sa 5. Let's see. Okay. So how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. Kasi yun ang gusto natin. Okay. Ano yung beginning niya? 1. Ano yung ending niya? 5. Okay? So, ito eksakto to. Dito, pwedeng hindi. For example, I make this point, uh, point um, 35. I made this point 35. nag increase siya ng by, by point 35. If I run this, okay, tinan nyo. Hindi niya sa umabot ng 3. Okay? Kasi nag increase siya by point 35, point 35, point 35. Pagdating niya sa 0.2.75. Pag mag-increase pa siya ng 0.35, lalampas na sa 3 yun. Okay? E kasi dito sabi natin hanggang 3 lang. So ito bounds lang siya. No? From 1 hanggang 3, not to exceed 3. Yun ang ibig sabihin ito. Ito naman, eksakto. 1 hanggang 5. Dapat eksaktong, dapat eksaktong lalabas ang 5. Dapat ang length niya, 4. Subukan natin gawin itong point. Gawin natin isang number na medyo Kunyari, ganyan, 0.3756. Okay? Ay, sorry, sorry. Length out pala ito. <laughs> mali, mali. Seven numbers pala. Sorry, ha? Sabi natin, seven numbers between 1 to 5. Kina natin? Alright, yun, no? Exacto, no? From 1 to 5. Tapos, if you take a look at the increments there, pare-pareho yan. Yung equally spaced yan. Okay? Alright, another feedback, please. Questions, class? Uh, sir, question lang. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, yung sequence or the SEQ, mm -hmm. that's a command then, sir, no? So, yes, no need uh, na ba to put parenthesis? Or... Ay, oo, oh, 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 nga pala, sorry. Uh, good, good point, no? Tama, command to. Uh, I was thinking, uh, 
kaya ako inano yan kasi I was I wanted to create sana an object called let's say uh, O no yan. pag ganyan O1 may O1 pag ganyan kailangan i-parenthesis natin yan subukan natin ha hindi natin lagyan ng parenthesis uh, thank you so much for that feedback no? yeah you're correct so O1 kasi dati linagyan ko ng object to eh O1 okay enter natin all right no, hindi siya nag-print, di ba? Pero ang nag-generate siya dito. Yun, dito siya, numeric vector. Had I wanted this to be printed automatically without typing print 01 or typing in another line 01, pwede yung parenthesis na yan, no? Yan. Okay, so, control, enter, then nag-print siya. But if it was only sequence, katulad nito, sequence lang siya. Ito, sequence lang siya, then, okay, good. No need to put the parenthesis kasi function yan. Okay? Control enter. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's a very correct observation. And if you want to learn more about sequence, uh, again, punta dito sa help, no? Yan, sequence. And then it will lead you to this. Okay, nasa base R daw siya. Tapos yan, may mga examples dito. Ang dami examples sa mga help function. Tapos ina-explain siya. <clears throat> for you to appreciate more. Ano ba yung laman itong function nito? Okay, so, uh, ang, ang, ang ano talaga ng tulong ng health function? Very, very helpful talaga. Ako, yung ano ko, yung sabi natin proficiency, uh, dyan ko talaga nakukuha. Eh. Kasi inaaral ko, tapos kinukuha ko yung mga examples and it becomes really clear. Alright, so, uh, this one, okay, uh, Okay, so let me first, let me postpone the, ano, the subsetting. Okay, kasi medyo magta-time na. Ipopostpone ko na yung subsetting. Babalikan na lang siguro natin yan next meeting. Kasi mas gusto ko makita na muna natin itong list at saka yung, ano, yung, yung data frame. Okay, so let's focus on this first. Uh, here, I'm creating this object called list. So another data structure type, data structure is list. Si list, it can contain... Yeah, no? numeric, character, and then this one is uh, logical, uh, complex, and and even a uh, uh, a vector din mismo ng numeric. Uh, this is ano nga pala to? This is uh, integer. Okay, if we print this, notice ang pagprint niya hindi pareho ng vector. Ito ina identify niya. So one here means the first object in list one. Two here means the second object. So if you take a look at the upper number, this is the seventh object in list one. <clears throat> Tapos ito may mga index pa rin. So si object number seven, which is a integer vector from 50 to 100, di ba? May index pa rin siya. No? This is the first element. This is the 40th element of the seventh object in list one. <clears throat> so ganun lang yun, no? Pag one lang, pag one lang andi dito, ibig sabihin, isa lang laman. Okay? So, if we, we, uh, type here, hanapin natin class. Ano class ni, ano? Ni list one. What's the class of list one? Okay? Then it will tell us it's a list. <clears throat> now, if you take a look at the environment, yan. <clears throat> okay. Now, kanina pa values lang tayo. Ngayon, si list, under data na siya. Okay? Under data na siya. <clears throat> so here in, the, in our environment, you have a list and you have, I have data and then values here. So yung data, that's for list, that's for data frame, etc. Yung values, these are more for vectors. So nagkahiwalay sila. No? If, I, if we click this, search natin to, it will generate this window here. No? Tapos it summarizes ano yung laman ni list 1. It's a list of 7, ang length niya 7. Tapos it identifies yung, yung type, type of niya ng object na nasa list tapos yung value. So diba double to? Kasi numeric to, numeric, numeric, panay double. Then character si hello, logical si false, complex si... 2 plus 4, integer C, 50 up to 100. Yan. Andyan, di ba? Naka-specify. Ano, naka 
yung laman ni list. <clears throat> okay. So a list can contain also another list. Okay, here I'm creating this. Ba? Si list 2. Okay. Which I'm uh, letting to be a list. List of these objects. Okay. Plus list 1. So my, di ba si list 1, ito din laman. So si list 2, it's a list containing a list. No? If we run this, I'm sorry, dapat list to to. No? Ay, hindi, tama. Tama. So you now have, if you take a look at what's inside list 2, and di ba, sa ilalim yan, magkakaroon siya ng the number 7. Okay? The number 7. Tapos yung number 8. Number 8 kasi is list 1. So parang inulit niya. Yun, no? So medyo nakakalito na yung ano, indexing. Pero inulit lang niya yung 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, so that's the important thing there. Uh, ang list can contain several data types and then it can contain also a list. It can contain even a function. So dito may function. But we'll take a look at that uh, next time nila yung function. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let's not run this. Na run na natin to anyway. Uh, I'll leave you to run that. Yung set that seed niya, tsaka yung R-norm. <clears throat> okay, kinukuha lang naman dito yung mean, median, minimum, maximum, etc. So I'm sure you'll be able to uh, do that. Okay. Dito may nakalagay lang na box plot, no? Okay. So siguro, asan yung R-norm natin dito kanina? Asa ni hist natin kanina? Balikan lang natin tong Sorry, where's that? Yung random natin. Let me just take a look. So values. <clears throat> Yan, ito. Si R, R2. Yung 10,000 na ano, no? And dyan papasok dito yung ano, importance ng chunk. Pag hinahanap natin, Asa na dito yung may ano tayo uh, random na ano may ang hirap na hanapin. Okay, anyway, si R2 yun, di ba? So let me just run here. <clears throat> Balikan natin yung hist ni R2. Lakihan ko lang yung size nito para ma-plot siya. Hist. There. And it's in plot niya, di ba? Parang normally distributed talaga. Then let's uh, plot this box plot, R2. You can also use the box plot. Okay, yan. Uh, ibig sabihin niya, yung R2 natin, may mga outliers ng konti. So, yan. <clears throat> According to Tuki, may mga outliers daw. Pero that has to be uh, check yung, kung talagang outlier siya. <clears throat> okay, so let's go now to okay, we have a few more minutes bago mag-12. Uh, I, I just want us to reach this one. Yung yung data frame. Kasi ito yung pinaka-importante sa atin. So the third data type is a data frame. Okay? So a data frame is a table <clears throat> or a two-dimensional array-like structure. Okay, let's have an example. Okay, let's get uh, some data set no, from, from R itself. Now, do you recall how do you, how you install packages? Did I discuss that last time? How do you install a package in R? A package is a set of programs that was developed by, by, uh, uh, by people who know how to uh, code in R in several fields. Pwedeng stat, pwedeng math, pwedeng marketing. So nagko-contribute sila ng, ng functionalities, ng mga codes, mga functions. And then sinasubmit nila yung sa CRAN. And then si CRAN, it will be uh, deposited there. So that can be uh, accessed. Okay, so how do you install a package? Three ways. Number one is you go here. <clears throat> you go here to two tools. Ayan, and install package. Yan yung unang-una. Install that package. And then you type here. Uh, Paki-install natin yung ggplot2. ggplot2, kindly please. Alright? Hindi ko na siya install kasi na-install ko na yan. Okay. Paki-check nga please if you have uh, uh, malamang hindi pa. No? 
Anyway, so please write dun sa tools tapos install packages, then ggplot2. Okay? And then install. And then tell me what happened to the console. Ano lumabas dito? I'll not install it anymore kasi na-install ko na yan and you only install it once. Okay? Kindly you unmute yourself when you install ggplot2, what appeared here in the console? Share share screen po ako. Yes. Kasi di po ako share yes. ko ano pa lumabas. Okay, so yes. Stop share ako. Sige. Ah, wait lang. Ito okay. po yung lumabas sa akin. Yung install. Yan. Oh, yan. That's that's it. Huh? R tool. Tapos yan. ano po. Ito po. There's a binary yan. version. Blah, blah, blah. Yan. Po. Okay. Ang daming mga ano, ano. <clears throat> And Nag-load nag siya. No? Tapos may mga kasama yes, siya. Po. Ibang package. Yan. And then, how do you know that na-load na, na si R? Na-install na? Sa dulo, Alvin, di ba? Ayan, no? may greater than sign na cursor natin dito. Apo. Yan, that means na na-install mo na. Ah, yan okay. yung end po. na. Yeah, end na yan ng ano. Ibig, ibig sabihin, mission accomplished na siya. Nagawa na niya. Ah, okay, okay po. But go up again. Go up, please. Ah, uh, yes. Sa console. Okay, Tingnan po. natin yung unang inano niya. Yung unang sinulat. Our tool is yan. required to build our packages. Po. Yan, ito. Yan, ito. Nung, nung, nung clinic ni Alvin yung ano, yung install that, yung yung ggplot2 tapos in-install niya. Ang lumabas na code ito, install that packages ng ggplot2. Diba? Class? Right? Yes, Paul. So that's the code to install a package. Okay? Ito yun. No? Install that packages and then quotes and then write the package. So that's the code to install package. Okay, everyone? Yes, po. Okay, sige. Thank you. I'll, Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll share screen. Albin again. po. Albin. Ah, sorry. Albin, okay I'll po. share screen again. Okay po. <laughs> okay, sige. Okay, sana tayo. Uh, sana share screen ko. Share screen. Again. All right. So as I was saying, if you want to install a package, then install that package. And then, Quotes, ggplot2. Okay. Now, after you install, uh, mag, mag, uh, magpapakita ng mga ginawa, mga steps na ginawa ni R, tapos babalik na naman sa ganito. No? Ibig sabihin, tapos na yung pag-install. Okay. And then, another way to install it is here, sa packages. Pareho lang itong dito sa tools at dito. No? Packages. Okay. May install dyan. Yan, install. And packages keep on ano, no, updating, so you can also update a certain package. All right. Now, when you install a package, you only do it once. You do it once, tapos, hindi mo kagad magagamit yung functionality niya. Now, for your assignment, please, tingnan niyo yung, ano, ah, yung uh, sulat natin dito, ggplot2, ggplot2. So I type gg, lalabas dito yung mga naka-ano sa akin. Eh? Now, Uh, most probably, pag tinayot nyo yung ggplot, ito yung lalabas sa inyo. Tapos, if you click this, it will lead us to this help functions. So, ito, ito yung mga codes na nakay ano. Ito yung mga functionalities na nakay ggplot. So, ang dami yan. Okay, tinoy, ang daming functions. Huh? So, ggplot2 is a very potent package for data visualization. So, ginagamit to sa pag-visualize ng data. <clears throat> okay? So, balik ako. Back ko siya. Tapos, how do I how do I now load ggplot2? So, we have to use library ggplot2. Yan. Library ggplot2 or another way is require ggplot2. Yan. Pareho lang yan, no? Once you have installed the package, hindi automatic na magagamit na yung function siya. So, kailangan iloload natin. So, iload natin si ggplot2 library. There. Okay. So, loaded na siya. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. And then lang ha. Magpapakita lang ako ng example ng, 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 ng data frame. And then we, we call it a day. Just to show you what a data frame looks like. Okay, so here, uh, 
Uh, okay, I'm going to <clears throat> get the data. May data na Star Wars dito. No? Ayan, tinan nyo to. No? Data na Star Wars. Okay, it's coming from Dplyr. Okay, so kailangan din natin palang install si Dplyr. Sorry. Um, install that packages. Hindi nyo pa siya na, ano, ano, na install. Dplyr. Ayan, Dplyr. Paki-install siya, class. And then once you installed it, once na install niyo siya, paki library. Library dplyr. Install the packages code dplyr and then library dplyr. Okay, so na na load ko na siya. And then I'm going to get the data data na let's use the Star Wars data. Ayan, Star Wars data from dplyr package. <clears throat> Control enter. All right. Anyway, class naka, naka record naman po. So here, notice na may lumabas na dito. Sa objects ko dito, promise, no? Promise. If, if we want to really see, we use the view function. View, Star Wars. Okay? Tinan nyo, yung binun na natin siya, boom, lumabas na siya dito sa ano. Nalipat na siya sa data. Okay? Data. Alright. And then maglalabas siya dito ng, sa window ng, ng data na to. Okay, take a look at this. So meron siyang meron siyang 87 observations and then 14 columns which means 14 variables. So nag-create sila ng data. This is called the data frame. So ito yung mga variables niya. Name, si Luke Skywalker, etc. Okay. Next, next meeting siguro we'll do uh, before we go to exploratory data analysis, babalikan natin si uh, subsetting data. <clears throat> and then just to illustrate structure, Star Wars, okay, take a look at this. Alright. So, itong si structure, it tells us what type of data Star Wars is. Kina nyo, no? So, it's a table. A table is a special type of data frame. Okay? Data frame siya. Tapos you have here Star Wars. And then, andi dito yung mga variables niya. Alright. Sige. Uh, let me... Let me stop recording now.